and blast off. Apparently, we are live. You are here with the Red Cup review. What's going on, everybody? It is a dark and trying time for the rebellion, but we are getting through this. I'm with my boy Baz. How's it going? What's up, guys? How do you like the apocalypse so far, everybody? Yeah, where it seems to be somewhat semi leveling out over here in New York, semi leveling out. The uh, the the governor says uh, Cuomo said that instead of it doubling every two days, it's now doubling every four days, which is just good enough to hold back so we can get some more ventilators up in here. We hope everyone is safe. We hope all of your family and friends are in good working health, and by all means, social distance yourself. Bass, how's your so social distance holding up? Oh, to the point where like now, like when I. I don't want to go out. I'm afraid to go out. I'm like freaking nervous before I go into a store. Today, I I, I backed out of going to uh, Aldi's because, well, you know, because like you always have to have that fucking quarter to get your cart. <laughs> so, I, so I didn't have the quarter, so I couldn't even get a cart. And then I have to go in. It's packed. Everybody has fucking the face masks and the gloves. They charge you. They like, charge you guys like twenty five cents nightmare. to get a cart to go shopping. Yeah, but you have to put it into the thing to unlock it. Right. And then when you put it back and you lock it again, you take your quarter out. Oh, okay, but you have cool. to have the, the initial quarter. Reminds me like the yeah. old school days of going to the water park, right? And you put like the $2 to get like your key for your locker. And then you return the key and you get your two bucks back or some bullshit. That's yeah. the idea. So, but if you don't have a quarter on you, then like, you know, then you got to start bothering people or something. And I wasn't going to talk to anybody who's like, looks like Bane. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and I wasn't wearing anything, so I felt like, oh, shit, I'm the, I'm the one asshole who's not prepared. So I was like, you know what? This is it. Well, I had to go early because the, the stores close early now, too. Yeah. They close at 7. Yep. You know, I like usually going out at like 6, 7, They, eight, they close at 6 nine. here. I'm doing some work on my back uh, patio. I'm doing some uh, refacing of the trim around my sliders. And mm -hmm. uh, at 6 o'clock, everything was shut down here, so... Get all your shit done early. I also sleep until about two in the afternoon because I'm working 12 to eight in the morning now. So that's a whole nother fucking set of issues. Anyways, these guys don't give a shit about our issues. They care about collectibles and fun shit. That's what they're here for. Do they? Uh, they kind of do. Do I they think. really care about collectibles? Don't they want to know about like, you know, people's everyday lives? This is like a monumental historical event. Yeah, we are living through history. I did tell that to, uh, yeah. to, to Captain Awesome. I was like, great. You don't understand something like you're living through like a time in history that you're going to be reading about in your high school years and, and your kids are going to be reading about like, this is like unprecedented economic shutdown. Uh, the whole world is grinded to a halt for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they just passed that stimulus package, um, which I, I want to, I don't want to, this isn't a political show, but I'm, I'm seeing that people are like, Oh, stimulus packages. I could, you know, use it for collectibles and stuff like that. That's cool. Use it for whatever the hell you want. From what I know so far, it's twelve hundred dollars per household, uh, five hundred dollars per kid. From what I'm reading and hearing, uh, either twelve hundred per household or twelve hundred per person with an actual social security number that has been on the books or worked. Um, however, keep this in mind. I believe that if you make, if you're single, only if you're single, and you make over ninety nine thousand dollars a year, you're going to have to pay the money back. So this is for everybody basically in that – if you make over 77000 but under $99,000, you are going to get a percentage, I think, of the 1200 If you make between uh, 77000 and and nothing, you're going to get the 1200 plus whatever bonuses they give you. And if for married couples, uh, you get um, more. I think I think your threshold is I think $195,000 for, for – or 150 or 160,000, I think, if both of you make that much money. If well, the thing is, that 1200 is going to go quick, especially if you have bills, you got to pay rent, food. See, that I don't It's going to go use... quick. So, when's the next 1200 going to come? Exactly. I use my <laughs> tax return uh, to pay my mortgage here. So, uh, I'm going to have to just save that money until next year because if I'm going to owe it back, I could just send it right back to them. I'm lucky. I'm lucky enough to be an essential worker. So, um, I'm going to uh, hold, just hold on to it, and then next year, if the money just happens to not be taken back, I'll have an extra twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, whatever the hell it comes out to, or whatever, however the fuck much they they send me here. I still can't find toilet paper. I haven't been been able to find toilet paper for a fucking solid month now. 
That's crazy. Now they have toilet papers back up here. After two weeks, it was back up to normal up here. Mm. Not 100% normal. It's like still empty, but it's supposed to being like bare empty. It's like, is this place going out of business empty? Like where it's not quite empty, you know? But um, it's maybe just- there's more diarrhea down here in Miami. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of ta- a, lot of, a lot of tacos being eaten, you know? So. <laughs> All right, we're gonna run through the uh, we're gonna run through the chat room real quick. There's not very many of you here. I don't understand. Uh, we're losing more and more viewers every week. Maybe people are just getting sick and tired of watching us. You would think we would have more because people are home more, but uh, maybe people are watching more TV. I mean, I know I am. I'm watching a whole lot more movies than I usually do. Yeah, we- well, well, um, Donnie Das is with us. Donnie Das is the guy that always asks about uh, the opinions on the Mezco figures, and I couldn't put two and two together. He friend he right before the show friend requested me, and he is in the Red Cup Review the Rebellion Facebook page. Again, if you're not part of that page, please join up. Uh, so what's going on, Donnie? CM Brock, uh, what's that going on? Hello, how are you, sir? Kev's Matrix is in the house. Kev just got out of doing a hospital stint, not over coronavirus, so we send our uh, our best to him. And we hope that he's all healed up and everything else. So much love to Kev. That uh, AIDS flaring up again? What happened? <laughs> no, no, I don't know what it is. It's his own private business. I just, you know, want to put out. I know, I know. Fucking around. fucking around. Um, Kyle, what's up? Kyle's watching us. Kyle actually gets a chance to watch the friggin' show because uh, he's working from home. So uh, what's going on, Kyle? Uh, what's up, Kyle? Uh, the Briscoe 1234. Not to be confused with the Gerald Briscoe, who will give you the one, two. What's going on, pal? And uh, all right, that's it. So they are speaking. Oh, and Freddie. Freddie's with us. What's going on, buddy? Um, so good. All right, we got a couple of good old school uh, Red Cup guys with us here today. Again, I don't like going into other people's groups and posting this. So if you guys want to take the link and share it amongst yourselves on Facebook, that would be cool. Because I think that if I take the link and share it, I share it to like the One Six Republic page. Sometimes the Mezco pages, if we have Mezco news is. I don't really want to go on other people's pages and stop posting red cup this red cup that because it's kind of like stepping on other people's toes. I think that's kind of whack. So if you guys are uh, want to share it on your page and say, hey, come chat with me in this room, that would be cool. I, I you know, look, we're a family here and it's kind of like I, don't know, I feel I also feel kind of shitty asking you guys to do that. But look, if it's coming from word of mouth and not just me promoting it or bad promoting it all the time. Maybe this shit can grow a little bit more Thor, this is the way this is the pregame. I don't know if Thor's going live tonight. Post in DCX, he says, you know what, Thor? Yeah, I should, but I forgot to. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyways, Thor's with us. He does the D- Darth Castle X show at 9 o'clock tonight. So go watch them. They're more of a statue show. He's going to love the fact that we're going to be looking at a statue first and foremost tonight, and he's going to say some shit like, join us. And I already fucking joined you guys. Just look behind me, all right? Both of these are from Thor. Not from Thor, but because of Thor. The Superman and the Wonder Woman premium formats. So you could thank uh, my wife could thank Thor for that. Okay, so we're, we're like the warm up show for for Thor show, right? We're like yeah. the fluffer, the <laughs> fluffers <laughs> for, the, for the for the for the for the explosion that happens later on. Did you see that video I put up on on my Facebook page of the of the what you call it the um, uh, what they call it? the the, the interpreter interpreter for for deaf people where she's like she goes like this and she goes. And it says, no more double blowjobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's like this. She goes like this. and You didn't see that one? Nah, it's funny though. Yeah, she's like a deaf interpreter. What are they called? Uh, just a, I don't know, a, a language. Uh, um, it, it, exactly. A that speaks like with her hands. You're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. An interpreter. Okay. For deaf people. Oh, cute. All right. Well, um, oh, nice. Not a bad idea, sir. That is not that is not considered a custom. So I'm going to show you guys like this. Uh, my buddy Donnie just sent us these pictures. Sent me these pictures. So I'm going to take over the screen for a second, Baz. Obviously, you can still talk. And he has a cool idea. They're both licensed figures, so we don't have to worry about that. Good call, by the way. And he wrote to me. He said. Uh, turn a ten dollar Batman figure into a marionette puppet. So it looks like he has the Arkham. The fuck? Now it's just me. No, hold on. Here we go. Okay. Right. It, <laughs> he, it looks like he has the Hot Toys Arkham Joker, uh, Hot Toy, and he marionetted a Batman, a ten dollar Batman Mattel toy. Right. So check it out. Doesn't look like much when you look there, but check that out. That's fucking cool. Not cool. Look at that. What man. Joker is that though? 
That's the the. It looks like it's the Arkham, uh, the Arkham Joker, the Hot Toys Arkham yeah, Joker. Just... So he added two sticks, put some rope around him, and then Marion added a six-inch Batman figure, and it looks like that. That's freaking cool as hell, man. I like that. Yeah. You just you just made a dope, dope, dope. Look at that. Oh come on, that's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty twisted. I like it, man. I like that a lot. That's probably one of the coolest, simplest customs. Simple as hell. And you don't have to worry about, well, I don't have to worry about dealing with the non-licensing issues. So there you go, guys. That's a dope idea, man. You know what? Take that photo, especially this one right here, and post that onto the Rebellion page. You got to post that. We'll approve it after the show. That's a dope, dope shot, man. And that's a really good idea, too. I don't have that Joker figure, but that is a really cool idea for those that do have it. Okay, okay. Freddie Freddy says, Mezco customer service told me to go fuck myself. Gotta love him. Uh, wow, you were able to get in touch with Mezco customer oh, service. Oh, dude, I got, you got to write and say what happened, man. That's yeah, because I've been trying to call them about my freaking Batman 89 order. I'm having issues with that. What so, happened with the 89 order? I don't, I, I called, they charged me fucking a lot of times, more than fucking I thought they did. All right. And I called them up and um, the guy said that he deleted, uh, will delete the orders except one. Right. But I don't have an order showing up at all. So it's, it looks like he deleted all my orders. Like even oh, the one I wanted to that's see. That's ridiculous, dude. What? It's possible I still have an order somehow, but it's not showing up on my uh, my order history when I go to the to the main Mesco site. So, I mean, that's happened before. I've ordered something and it, it did go through, and I couldn't find it. Hmm. Um, yeah, you so I wanted to find that out, man. That's, that's but now it, it, they weren't answering the phones, and I'm like, yeah, nobody's gonna fucking answer the phone around this time now. So I gave up. I called them for like two days straight, and I was like, all right, they're they're not in their offices or whatever. So. Right. But I wrote them. I wrote them. I never got an email back. So no, nah, you got to call them. You got to call the office. Mm. That's even if somebody's I mean, even in the office. Damn. That's the thing. So I like. I looked on eBay. I could pick it up in the secondary market, but it's going to be a a bigger markup. You know, like maybe forty dollars more, thirty dollars mm. more. Um. So I'd rather have my original order back, but uh, we'll see. You know. Baz, 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 we got a fucking, we got a, we got a ding, 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 ding. We got a ding, ding from Mariah, Mariah. You better get that name right, bro. Marija Zevlin. I take that, I take that money back, Marija. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, that's freaking awesome that you fucking did that, though. Thank you so much. Uh, those that not watching don't know what they're missing. You guys crack me up and, uh, you just really, you really just, that was wonderful of you. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. Hey, listen, every little bit helps. The, uh, last week's donation, uh, finally kicked me over the hundred dollar mark, uh, for the first time ever on YouTube. So I'm hoping they'll send me my first check and then I'll wind up going and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll buy some new lights or something for I'll kick the reviews up somehow. I know that for me to buy like a legit camera is going to cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I don't make that kind of money yet. But hey, listen, who knows? You know, maybe in another five years when we get some more friggin' subscribers, uh, we'll uh, we'll be able to do that and, and, and make it happen. But again, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you just so much. Oh, OK. So what's the matter? AI? Yeah. Captain Awesome just says hello, everyone. What's up? I guess, uh, can I please no, you can't. Not while I'm yeah. down here. Come on. You know that. All right. Uh, Paradox Beat Nerd, it. I think, is going to be joining us, so I'll decontaminate and I'll hop on. Good. So Paradox Nerd's joining us, everybody, and he just got home, and he is really, really having it just even worse than I am with work. Talk about a first responder. This guy is literally putting people on ventilators. So not only does he give you the Sith cast, not only does he give you cool hot toy reviews, but he's saving lives. So when he gets on, we'll talk to him then. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks so much again for the for the donation. That was friggin' awesome. You're the best. All right. Let's talk about our badge. You have any pickups this week? Potential pickups, a pre-order, anything? Hold on. Let me look around. Let me look around. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> How about this? Have you, have, have you opened a toy you haven't opened yet? <laughs> let's start there. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get it. All right. Uh, while Baz does that, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. Um, I did not pick up anything this week. Uh, 
There was not really anything for me to pick up. It looks like Diamond has canceled their uh, – they're not sending anything out to comic shops no more or collectibles. So your local comic shops are going to be in a big, big trouble soon. So if you guys have your local comic shops, you guys are going to want to do the right thing. What did you say? Like maybe do as much shopping as you can for them now and what? spend the extra five or ten bucks as opposed to just going – What you say? Amazon. Plus, I shut the fuck up. Can they? Mutinous asshole. Uh, so, plus Amazon's not really shipping shit out just right away just yet. Baz, you're in fucking timeout for a second. All right. So, uh, so go support your local comic shops because Diamond is is really got their nuts in a in a vice right now. All right, getting back to Baz and his reveal. Uh, not his reveal. I guess with the open this week. Baz, you back with us? What do you got? Okay. You're taking over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, he, he came. This guy came out of the uh, the box. Uh, what's his name? The fucking I forgot what the fuck is his name. I forgot his name. The dude from <laughs> the, the dude, the fucking e oh Maximilian from Black yeah. Hole. He has this really cool, like big fucking uh, stand over here. I like it's sturdy. It holds him up. It, it's a it's a big friggin' robot. It's awesome. That's uh, awesome. now we got this motherfucker, Vincent, which is my middle name by the way. Nice. His, his fucking stand sucks donkey balls. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. It has all these freaking like notches in it, and then it just like hangs down. He falls off. There's no way to balance him without w without it bending. Uh, I I was messing with it for like a half an hour, so I'm just like I just put him like I'll stand him up against something, hold right? Him up, you know. But he is he is cool. I mean, he turns his head. That's about it. Yeah, it's a cool little display piece though. It's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, purpose. they're cool. But uh, yeah, that's about it. That's it. That's it. What else? What else? What do you what do you, what do you, what do you want me to buy? A statue? <laughs> Thor. Oh, join me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got I that money, bro. Up, I was gonna put up a statue first for us to look at, but I'll wait for uh, for PJ to join us for that because I know he's a little bit more uh, more with the statues and the bigger stuff. So uh, I didn't get any pickups this week, but there was a reveal that came out it was the gi joe destro figure that's part of the first wave and talk about gambling and hoping that it works out all right i pre-ordered when they first showed them the entire wave of the gi joes from uh uh hasbro and they just revealed the uh the destro figure today so let's take a look at destro nope i'm not inviting anybody i'm screen sharing this son of a chrome tab Gi Joe six inch and Pam, ba bam bam bam. Look at that. You guys <laughs> catching it? Nice. All right. Mike, cool. Mike is nerdy. Picked up some dog shit this week. That's about it. Awesome. Dog shit is awesome. All right, Baz. What do you think of Destro? I think he looks freaking awesome, bro. He looks cool. Uh, the only thing I would say is like, why does he have a, uh, a Cobra insignia on his briefcase? It should be Mars. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, they, I think they are kind of revamping and re redoing like the this is like a reimagining of some kind or something. I don't know. So he's not a mercenary anymore. He's full blown Cobra. Cobra, I, I guess. I don't know. You are right. It should say Mars in the briefcase. I didn't catch that. Good catch there. I like that the weapon holsters in the side here. Uh, he comes, you know, obviously the two blasters. That's pretty cool. I like that they went with more of a classic look for him. Everybody that was kind of complaining about a classic look, classic look. I like that his head sculpt is total classic uh, version of him. He look, I mean, obviously, this is so totally touched up with, with stuff, you know. But, you, you know how I know it's classic? I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, that's Deathstro. Yeah. And I, I mean, was just like, definitely. okay, yeah, that's, you know. Like, I wasn't like, you know, like, oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's because, like, they nailed it pretty much. Um, Kyle said they needed more pouches, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he enough. needs more, more Rob Liefeld pouches. Fucking Liefeldian. <laughs> what Very he like had, like, of you, Kyle. He's, he is known for having forearm rockets. He they could have given him the forearm rockets maybe on the left, so he could Ooh. hold the gun on the right with the forearm rockets on the left. That would have been a cool little attachment. Dude. But um, I, I got to tell you what though, out of from what we've seen so far, he is the most. He's even more accurate. I th oh, there you go. He's got the forearm rockets. I bet there you about you something, and bang, there they are. So you talk about. I think he's more accurate than. Than Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes, yeah, and Snake Eyes is the most accurate, but he's 
even more accurate because Snake Eyes has got like like camo, some semi camo green pants. He's not just in the straight up black jump jumpsuit. It looks like the Cobra insignia is not just painted on; it's kind of like embedded into the briefcase. So that's pretty cool. It's not just like a like a decal. I like that. See the weapon holsters there? That's cool. He's got the double elbows and double knees. And he's got like a little computer thing in here, like bomb sequence thing. I think it's dope, man. You know, he even has a peg for the back. So in case like uh, another Ooh, jet character. Pack. Yeah, exactly. Jet if pack. another character comes with a jetpack or something, you could probably put it on him, which is good. It's good that they know that these characters have interchangeable weapons that you can kind of share among certain characters. So that's dope. They did Maybe that. they'll release a weapons pack. Yeah, that's always possible. I mean, are they going to really do uh, – are they really going to do – like be able to do vehicles for these guys at six inch form. They're going to be huge and massively expensive. So they could pretty much do like weapon packs maybe instead, you know, that would be pretty cool. Like I could see them doing like Cobra commander's hang glider. I could see them doing like uh Sepentor's like uh like flying S motorcycle. Sled. And then he has a yeah. sled. Yeah. I could see them doing that. I want that so badly. Uh, the VAC metal head is real nice. He says, so <laughs> yeah, cool, I the Chrome off his trailer itch. <laughs> so these are going to be in stores, right? So I can, well, yeah. well, yeah, I yeah, that's them. over with. Just order. <laughs> it's it's, it's twenty one bucks. Yeah. It's twenty one bucks on Amazon today, or okay, you can cool. use the 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 link in the the Red Cup review link and get it from Entertainment Earth for the same price. It's twenty twenty ninety nine, and uh, well, here's something that I'm uh, I didn't quite catch, and I may be wrong. But I want to draw your attention to this area right in here. Oh. Is it possible that he has butterfly joints in the shoulders here and they're just hiding it? Or is that just like a, a layered plastic vest over another flat piece of plastic? Because it looks like this arm yeah. is kind of like moving in a little. See how this shoulder is kind of positioned in a way where it looks mm -hmm. like it's moving like, like out? Like, like, yeah, it's like kind of like yeah. butterflying in a little. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if they gave him butterfly joints in in the arms up in here, which is pretty ridiculous that they would have done that for for. I mean, they should have did it for for Snake Eyes, but it, it's awesome nonetheless because they kind of hit it pretty well. I thought if it is, if that is the case. Yo, I used to have the uh, original. What's his name? Uh, Edwin Diaz is saying he had the original OG Death Destro figure. Are you talking about the uh, the twelve inch? Uh, twelve. What are you talking about? It's like an old, old friggin' Destro figure that was like from the original GI Joe line, right? Uh, that was the, the you know the twelve inch figures, right, right. And uh, that's when he was actually created. He's an older character, Destro. Oh, okay. You're talking about like uh -huh. not from way back when, though. Not from before. way back, like like you know early seventies, late sixties, that kind of thing. Really? Yeah. I did not. And I remember that. I had him in like an old toy box, and he was like naked, but he had the friggin' The metal the, head, the metal head, and I was like, "What the fuck is this figure?" I didn't even remember like owning him as a kid, but uh, I, you know, I figured it out later on once GI Joe came back. And what was it, eighty two mm. or eighty or something? But uh, yeah, no, he's like, yeah, I, I got to do some research on that. Hold on, is it? Yeah, you you know about the GI Joe freaking uh, twelve inch line? That's how it originally started out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A recommendation for those uh, that have Netflix: check out the toys that made us the GI Joe. Uh, exactly, it's freaking awesome, awesome show. So go watch that if you guys want to see good collectible shit. Uh, Freddie Damavani says, "I know everyone has been begging for a six-inch GI Joe, but I'm not feeling it. Why? You're not feeling this figure either, Freddie? That's pretty crazy, man. I don't know how much better you're going to get for six-inch uh, Joes." Uh, as as far as like something like this goes, man. I mean, if you want like a, a if you're more of a Mezco guy now. Well, he says he prefers the 3.75 inch. Yeah, no, I, I kind of understand that. I, I do totally understand that. I just want something that's going to kind of, uh, I mean, am, am I going to be all in with this Joe line? Probably not all in. I'm all in on the first wave so I could review it for everybody. But as the figures come out, I mean, do I really need like a blowtorch figure? You know, <laughs> like we'll see. Um, yeah, that would be pretty cool if they did something like this where like they do like the mail in send away figures. Like you collect a bunch of them and they do like the mail away shit. That would be pretty cool. Robin Baz, you guys into spawn? If so, you picking up the Todd McFarlane Mortal Kombat spawn figure. If everyone if anyone's getting it, it might be Baz. Baz, what do you think of that figure? Fuck yeah, that figure's awesome looking. Uh, but it's like what, 30 bucks if you buy it on uh, Amazon? I'm gonna wait. 
All right. Well, there you go. Fucking there Amazon. Have. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, because when you say Amazon, this, this shit gets uh, what's oh, God. The robot gets activated. What's what's her name again? I forgot her name. But it, it's called Amazon in this room. There's another one in the other room. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to move along to. Uh, I'm trying to wait for uh, for for what's his face for the paradox nerd for some more collectible stuff. But fuck it, we'll move to this. Thor's watching. I know he, he'll he'll maybe want to hear our our take on this. I already know what yours is kind of as. But here are some full on straight up full shots now of the Batman Batcave version uh, deluxe Prime One Studios uh, figure for fourteen hundred dollars. Bow. <laughs> That's. I don't know where dudes get money where they could just be like, yeah, of course I pre-ordered it day one. Uh, this one dude in the rebellion, Eugene, who's who's in, been awesome on the page. Uh, I want him to watch one of the live shows. It'd be nice to have him in, in, in one of the conversations here. But um, he went and just pre-ordered this immediately. And he has the other uh, the other Hus statue. And he's a big statue guy, too. So more power to him, you know, by all means. Uh, 1400 is way, way, way too high out of my wheelhouse. I would probably have to sell all my statues I have now. And uh, and and then get this and just have just have one statue. Plus, this is too big. This is way too tall for me. Uh, one third scale is not my preferred scale. It is way too big. With that being said, this is really really nice, and you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of bang for your buck with this. So, if you pre-order it here, you get like this bonus extra head, right? Which is um, you know, half hush bandages half batman head which is pretty cool with the gritted teeth that looks nice uh let's see what else you get you get these four portraits and they all come with act with actual stands so you come you get like three extra bus stands so you can have whatever portrait you want on the figure and then you get like the extra stands to go around it so it's like it's almost like buying a full one-third scale statue and then getting a bunch of little mini bus to kind of go with it so you could display all the different versions virgins I want to display i like to display a bunch of virgins uh he gets the swap out hands the punching hand the batarang and the grapple gun grapple gun's pretty dope i don't know i probably use either the grapple gun or the uh or the batarang here's him in what he looks like in his walking regular regular face Right, and there's a picture of there's a picture here somewhere where they have him like where you can see actually how big he, he really is. Yeah, yeah, there you go, 87 centimeters. I don't know how tall 87 centimeters is. Let's see, uh, 87 cm to inches. Oh, 34.2 inches. Yeah, so he's a tremendously big. He's 10 inches taller than the. And the premium formats I have back here. So he's just insanely, insanely massive. And this thing back up here uh, also glows and lights up. This is totally out of like, I'm sure most of our wheelhouses, but um, I just, I think it's pretty dope. It's Jim Lee is, you know, cool artist and stuff. And he looks cool. I like the. I fuck, fuck Hush. I'm sick of Hush. <laughs> yeah, Jesus I know. I, I, I actually, you've, you've kind of started to kind of convince me. Uh, I'm getting a little <laughs> sick of it too. Um, after I read White Knight this past week, which uh, yes, I am doing a video. I've been really, I've been doing a lot of housework around here, so you guys are gonna have to wait on my review of uh, of, of that uh, book. I know Kyle's waiting on it a little bit, but I'm watching a lot of people go goo goo gaga over all these Jim Lee versions of characters. I don't like his Superman at all. I don't even really like the statue of it. Yeah, it looks nice, but they all look nice. So I'm not hating on the way it looks. See, this you don't like, like Angry Superman. Superman. I don't like angry Superman. That's not Superman. Superman doesn't walk around gritting his teeth and being all stern all the time. I don't, I can't, I can't really like dig that. So I'm not really feeling that version of Superman. Uh, but I do. Um, I think this is pretty nice looking. I mean, I don't know. I, a lot of people are like, Oh, greatest Batman story. Look, the white Knight was a way better story, way better story. Um, Hush is fun though, man. I don't want to totally hate on Hush. Hush is a really fun. Like if someone was like, I don't know who Batman is. What should I read? And you said, All right, read Batman Hush. That's like a good starting point. Okay. Because you're gonna get all of his villains. You're gonna get bright, colorful artwork. That okay, right there. See that it's it's visually it's fun. It looks great. 
I mean, fucking uh, Huntress looks amazing in that fucking uh, yeah that story. But guess what? I what we were talking about the other day about how like a lot of collectors are not readers. We are fucking readers, bro. First, yeah, you know what I mean. So a story matters to us. You know, yeah. these collectibles become important to us only after we read the story and we connect with it. Yeah, no, totally. I, I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because that is a big, big, huge part of even when I collect, like, I see some people buy Hot Toys and they're like, I don't even like the character and I hated the movie, but I had to have the figure. And I, to me, that's kind of weird. Like, I don't want, I bought the Count Dooku Hot Toy. I bought the Darth Maul Hot Toy and I sold them after I reviewed them. Because as nice as they are, I was like, I don't like the prequels. So every time I look at this, I'm going to want to smash it. <laughs> so <laughs> how nice it looks, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you don't want to cut them in half like he was in the fucking movie. Exactly. I'm going to just take them. I'm going to do the Lady Death Strike 2 in the morning. Uh, more oh, the shit. Having beers and just throwing it in the train. I would do that with a hot toy. I just saw the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, so yeah, so there you go. There's your master movie line, Batman uh, Hush. Really yeah, cool whatever. looking. Love that version of Batman. I really like his his take on the Batman outfit itself too. But I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Jeff, Jeff Loeb is overrated, man. He's. I know you like him because you met him. I, no, but not because because I met him. He's fun, man. He did the he he helped write the first season of Heroes, which we loved. Uh, he used to write the Batman vs Superman comic. That was a great story. I mean, Porter Battles was dope. Yes, Kev's Matrix. He was. I mean, it was. Uh, he's like a good, like just fun superhero writer. Like we gotta like. Sometimes I just want a fun superhero story, and sometimes I want like a really good in depth, cool, immersive story. So Jeff Loeb is like really good, fun, beat him up. You know, guy in the blue punches the clown, or the, you yeah. know, a guy in red punches the guy in green. He's really good for that type of stuff. But um. Other than that, read go read White Knight, and uh, I mean Kyle basically virtually took that book and smashed me in the friggin' head with it like a steel chair, and then I went and bought it and, and loved it. So uh, you guys would probably like that too. All right, moving along. Uh, this is what I was looking for. Hold on, I want to show this to the to the Spawn fans. This is uh, Spawn number one hundred, and this is the uh, Mike McNola uh, McNola uh, cover. Nice. That is nice. So yeah, very right, cool. Spawn. <laughs> What'd you think of that movie, man? At the time when you went Our, to go see first it, first one movie was well. You got to remember that was well. Okay, for the time it was fantastic because we were like it was at a time when we were pretty much eating up anything with a cape. You know anything? Like I, yeah. I, I thought Spider Man and His Amazing Friends was the best cartoon ever at the time because oh my god, it was the only thing with a superhero in it. You know, remember when uh, the X Men first showed up? Holy shit! Oh yeah, exactly. That cartoon, Batman the Animated Series. Those people, well, I mean, Batman the Animated Series, is just a good cartoon, no matter what decade you're in. But I mean, I ate up anything that had a freaking cape on it, you know. Um, so it wasn't so bad though. It was pretty good. It was all right. Uh, look, yeah. You know, look, man. It, like you go. That's going real far back. That's like pre Blade by a few years. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Blade is really the one that kind of set it off. Set off, and not just set off the the Marvel movies or the superhero genre in general, but they. Like Blade came out the same year as The Matrix, and that's when like movies started using like crazy special effects. Like I remember that was like what separated like the movies like Die Hard that were just more str and, and like Lethal Weapon and like all the Van Damme movies and all the Steven Seagal movies. Like for a while, action movies were just like, oh, let's go see the action hero do his thing. And then they started becoming like the Matrix and Blade, you know, where it was more uh you know, higher special effects and shit, like in, in fight sequences and things like that. <laughs> if you look back to those movies, they all have uh, uh, fight sequences set to techno music. Yeah, well, that was, <laughs> that was it. That was the, that was the late '90s. That was like '98 yeah. to 2001, really. But uh, God bless drugs for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to some sideshow stuff, and then we're gonna do some uh, some news of the week. And we'll, then we'll be getting ready to do uh, – we're at the halfway point practically. All right, so this Daredevil Shadowland, they said that they were ex official Facebook group exclusive reveal. But I didn't see anything on Facebook, so I don't know. They didn't show the actual figure. So if they did, great. I didn't see it on my feed. So Daredevil Shadowland version is coming out. 
However, this is probably the most important thing that came out, and it just showed up last night, I believe. <laughs> oh, is, God. Baby Yoda 5.0. <laughs> so, Jesus fucking Christ. No, I know, I know. But look, man, this is still the hot. This is the hottest shit out right now. So I know, and I was into it when it was out. I know. It's just like I get burnt out on stuff like this shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I understand. He does not come with this, so this is false advertising. I thought it would be cool if he did come with a little backpack. That would have been cute. He does not come with that. He does not come with the floating chair. Uh, am I getting this? No. Is it awesome? Kind of. Uh, I prefer the Sideshow one. There's been a lot of debate going around right now on which one is better. I think the Sideshow um, uh, VFX, Legacy FX rather, thing, uh, version, which is actually made from the show itself, excuse me, is a way better figure. Oh, no. But this is a better figure. That is a better looking version and more accurate. This has interchangeable ears, so you can see a lot of people have been complaining about the steam around his ears. He comes with one, you know, his ears that are up and ears that go down, so you could swap his ears out. This is a toy. A lot of people are like, oh, this is more of a toy. The company's name is Hot Toys. This is a an articulated toy if you want to have a, a, a figure of Baby Yoda to screw around with. The other one is like a... Ooh, that did not come out right. No, it didn't. <laughs> so a lifelike baby Yoda that you can Ooh. have sitting on your couch with you. <laughs> on the other Ugh. side of the room. Okay. Uh, so if you wanted to be able to pose the action figure, you go with this one. If you want something that's a little bit more realistic and like better looking, more accurate, you go with the Sideshow one, personally, in my opinion. He comes with the, uh, the little knob. I, I gotta stop talking. <laughs> he's, got little, he's got a little knob. Baby Yoda has a little knob. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure, um, I'm sure Nambla will be interested in that little uh, tidbit oh, of information. God damn you, hot toys! So he comes <laughs> with some accessories, and uh, he's got a frowning, uh, you know, more of a frowning look there, and interchangeable hands and shit. And he doesn't come with the bag. And that's it. Okay, he's an articulated figure. You can get yours. He doesn't come with the colostomy bag. bag. He doesn't come. He got multiple hands, <laughs> a stand, interchangeable ears, a knob, and a medallion. Okay, and his arms. Sweens, what's up, Sweens? And his ears move all around and shit. Okay, there's your fucking baby Yoda. All right. Pre, I personally prefer the sideshow one. Uh, if I'm gonna have one in my collection, or you can get this if you want one to be able to pose. You're, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting what the uh, what's your quote the uh, uh, what's his name with Baby Yoda right the Hot Toys yeah I'm getting exactly my my Baby Yoda is the Mandalorian I already pre-ordered yeah. the Mando with the Baby Yoda two pack thing so that's my uh, I only need one Baby Yoda and he's yeah you he's, don't need he's this the appropriate shit. size <laughs> yeah. we got to get off this fucking figure enough enough all right go. <laughs> Go to the, the Red Cup Rebellion page and click on one of our sideshow links. And if you want to support the page, you can buy this shit over there. Okay, there you go. I'm not going to promote that that, that that this anymore. Next, <laughs> is season two filmed and done, and done with? It's... Filmed and done. Yes. Filmed okay, and, and a soak is in it, right? Baz, how about a four thousand dollar? Yes. Okay. A super soaker. You want a four thousand dollar super soaker? A super, uh, <laughs> super soaker. Not really. This is four grand. <laughs> Why? It because it has a dark? special FX UV fluorescent splatter with the world's pinkest pink. I'll give them some UV splatter. <laughs> That's Cheaper. They're, they're just splooging and then hoping you come up with your own black light. <laughs> <laughs> it is signed. All right. It's one of 99. It's, it actually is a pretty big poster. Four grand? Does this actually have like this gold dust? Is this actual gold dust? Does gold dust come to my house and deliver this shit to me? <laughs> like this is for like the you know the collectors that are like doctors and lawyers and shit, and who have like a little time to to collect a little bit here and there. And they buy four thousand dollar. I mean, prints. I, I don't know, dude. Uh, like that's crazy, man. Uh, it is just. <laughs> Four thousand dollar prints. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Hey, listen. The guy that I spoke to, uh, my 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 buddy over there, we'll call him Deep Throat. I gotta really stop with all. This. <laughs> we can't go from the baby Yoda shit to this. Um, it is free shipping, however. Uh, he was like, "Yo, you'd be surprised. These things actually sell." 
like and now he was like you, you know they 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 like, I'm not even shitting you. He's like, there are collectors out there that want this stuff. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, you know, they, like, great. doctors and lawyers. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they can do that. And that's awesome. That's awesome for them. And it really is awesome for them. I, I just, I still think that like, uh, even at fourth, even if I was a doctor or a lawyer at four grand, that's a bit like ridiculous, but Hey, listen, whatever. Or stockbroker, whatever the fuck, you know, like, I know just burn money, you know, yeah. Don't buy an art. Don't buy a regular one hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred fifty dollars art print, and, and God forbid, donate the rest. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm a big fan of these. I have a bunch of these. My my brother, um, Mr. Uh, Frank Castle, gets these for me on my birthday and at Christmas. I get these little one ounce silver um, things to put next to my uh, my hot toys. They're encased silver. in these plastic protectors, and uh, they're, they're it's an ounce of silver. So it's it's also actually has real worth to it. God save the queen. And you could just put it right in your collection. So like, for instance, I have my Ghostbuster ones up at my Ghostbusters. I have my Return of the Jedi Empire Strikes Back and uh, New Hope, right? In, all part of the collection. And it kind of adds that little extra something. So I think that's kind of nice. I mean, if you were getting, if you're going to spend $1,400 on the prime one, Batman, uh, Jim Lee, Hush statue, why not go for another $110 and get yourself a, a silver coin? And it's already low stock remaining. Look at that. Display is nice. That's my only uh, only reason why I wanted to bring that up. Uh, we looked at all this other shit last week, pretty much. There's we? one more thing. Yeah, we looked at we looked at everything up to um, to Khaleesi. We looked at the the Batman 50R print. I remember us making fun of that. Uh, skinny Batman. We looked at the two um, the two Thanos Thanos size Thanos. Uh, and that's it. That's all the friggin' releases that we're on really this week. Now we just got a bunch of pop culture news we can get into. I guess. Wait, hold on. No, uh, we got. W- let's take a look at that SH figure. It's Michael Keaton, Batman. Yes, good freaking call. All right, uh, where can I find that? Do you have that up on a linker at all, or like where can I find that? No, just go to Toy News Eye. It's like the first first uh, news story. Toy Newsy. All right, and bam. <coughs> good call. All right, it comes with two face place pa- face lower face parts. Alternate hands, grapple gun, batarang, two shirkins, and parts to extend the cape. It actually looks really good in low light here. So we're going to see how good he looks in regular light. Let's get the... Really? There's no other pictures? Oh, here we go. Images 1 of 10. Click on this. Here we go. You guys getting this? Yeah, yeah. they can see it. Uh, I can see it. All right. Okay. So the retail on this bass is what? 90 bucks? No clue. No clue. All right. I guess we'll check that out in a minute. Probably. I, I'd say less. It might be. That sounds kind of high for uh, SH Figuarts. What do you think? Compared uh, to Mexico, what do you think? I mean, it, the poses look great. He looks great there. Except if you if you see a close up of the face, I don't think they quite nailed it. Yeah, no, it's I, a I little off. Yeah, the face sculpt ain't there. Here we go. Here's the face sculpt. Yeah, no, they they, told, they didn't nail the lips. They didn't nail the eyes, and the jaw is too squared. Yeah, it the chin almost, is it's too long. It's too yeah, long. he looks like like he has Val Kilmer's lower jaw a little mm. bit. You know, like more of a the 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 typical square jaw, whereas Michael Keaton's is a little bit more rounded, a lot more rounded actually. Um, so it looks like I don't know, there might be like a purge system going on with the eyes in there or something. I don't know. But uh, one thing I do think is cool about this is that it's obviously cheaper than the Mezco. It's got these cool cape extend parts. That's pretty dope. And you can have to worry about the outfit deteriorating because it's plastic. Right. Exactly. So you could you, you you could feel freer to manipulate it and you know s- stretch the limits to the poses you want to you want to like you know, try to t- you know get them into. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See. See. Um, see. Yeah. The face yeah. is not. That's it's, not, it's, not Keaton right there. I mean, it's 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 decent it's for close. it's yeah. decent for an action figure and for the price you're going to get and for what you'll be able to do with it, it's fine. Right. But as far as like straight up accuracy goes, you got to go with Mezco on this one. Uh, it's I'm getting him. Definitely. You're getting both of them, huh? Yeah, I have to. <laughs> Just anything with Michael Keaton on it, I'm yeah, done. Anything. If it was Clooney, I'd get it. <laughs> yeah. You're the worst. Dude, I was watching Batman around the other night and enjoying it. Oh, so nice God. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It's more accurate than the Hot Toys Batman because the belt is actually gold like it's supposed to be. So that's that's pretty cool. I like the fact that he has his uh, his little stopper here. Like when he holds his arm up and, and, and jams it. Oh, he has that thing? Yeah, that's in his that, thing. That was always the weirdest freaking gadget he had. Like, I'm like, what is yeah. how many uses does he could that thing be besides 
to you top know, guys flying at you. Punching somebody, yeah, just like getting he gets him in the nuts too, right? Yeah, he hits a like nut right in like the midsection and drops him to the floor. It's the nut buster. All right. I guess it's like an extender, like it maybe. Well, because hey, check it out, Michael Keaton's a smaller Batman, right? Like this isn't yeah. six foot two Batman, right? So maybe he's like develops gadgets like this to compensate for his reach. So it's like a guy my size fighting a guy your size. He's going to develop these gadgets to kind of like yeah. extend out to maybe hit a, you know six inches further out than he normally would. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. Listen, listen. When I to me this this version of Batman was like a, a whole new Batman. I had to learn right to to actually appreciate because he's very he's very unique. Most his his uh, he's mostly based on the 1930s Batman, which is cool. The Bob Kane original. Bill Finger Batman with some extra like, you know, kind of like uh steampunk elements to him with right. the gadgets and things. Um so he's he's a different Batman, but you know, he's, he's um he's a killer too. He kills. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Those first two movies, I mean, so he's not the traditional Batman from the comics. Uh, I would say like um of course Batfleck and uh what's his name? Um Christian Bale is closer to the comics than anything. Christian Bale being like the Neil Adams, Jim Aparo, Batman, uh, Bronze Age Batman. Yeah. And uh, Batfleck being more like the kind of like a mixture of, of Frank Miller meets Jim, uh, Lee. Jim Lee. And yeah. this would be like a, a kind of like, a, you know, the 30s Batman, the, the beginning. Yeah. You know? And uh yeah, and then you have uh, Kilmer and uh, and uh, Clooney with Robin, and that's more of like the sillier, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, version Brady. of Batman from the fifties. Yeah, the Silver Age. Yeah. So all these Batman Batman are valid. They all represent different eras and different interpretations. And, and yeah, no, true. Totally. I love Batman, and I could find any you know, uh, I find joy in any version. Oh, dude, you're character. talking to a guy who met Adam West, and my Joe was on the floor the whole time. Like, like you're yeah. Batman, dude. Like you know, like I don't give a shit. You know. Yeah. Um, Remember, I was like, I, we walked by by him, and I was like, "Hey, you're the man." He's like, "Why? Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> I that was cool. It would be awesome if he would have turned him in like the Batman punk, and don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, here, one thing's for sure: he has the cape extenders, right? But you could see that there, the cape itself actually has the loops in it. Look where I'm pointing. On this side, and you can see that the hole there's a hole as a pocket on either side of the cape for where those extenders will go. Oh, I love that! I love that. Like, that's awesome. Pockets. Does the Mesco have that? No, Mezco no, right? Uh, uh, see, the Mesco has, I think, a, a completely different cape for that. I got to switch out cape. It's like when he, he meets the two, th he, you know, he, he meets or he, he approaches the two thugs on the roof. Yeah. The one, the ones who are like Johnny, no, good Johnny Gubs, Johnny Gubs. <laughs> Jumped off the roof, man. You know that whole. <laughs> oh, come on, like, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking awesome. He looks like Dracula descending down. Yeah, from, yeah, no, it was great. The rooftop. Uh, okay, but uh, oh, and also there's, uh, I think it's Mafex. They they release it. It's either Mafex or SH Figure Arts. I forget because they're, they're very similar. Um, the uh, Japanese Spider-Man figure. Jap oh yes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, sp uh, Spyuda Man or Spyida Man or Do I, I just call him Japanese Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, you want me to find it? Yeah, yeah, find it. That was okay. um, that's actually the his mech in that show. Spider Man has a mech in that show. His mech is actually the mech that is used in the Ready Player One novel. For those of you that have seen the movie, know that in the movie he jumps into the Iron Giant. And uh, in in the and the other characters jump into Gundam like your typical Gundams in the movie, right? In the book, it's not the Iron Giant. The main mech is Ultraman, and the two other characters. One of them is I think from Ev Evangeline or Evangeline or something like that. Like uh, I forget the name of it. it. Begins with an E. <clears throat> it's what the girl uses, and the dude uses um, uh, the Spider Man um, mech. Uh, Spider Man. There we go. Spider Man. That's the name. Sup okay. Yeah, he's the he's actually one of the first char characters to have a mech. Right. Kind of yeah. in influenced the whole. You know, he was like Power Rangers before Power Rangers. You he came um, before Power Rangers. Yeah, pretty much. 
Pretty much, yeah. So in the book, that's what the, the main character has. That's his uh that's his uh mech in the book. What do you um you got that screen share yet or what? Although I'm still looking for like a good page to all right, all right. To look for it. Okay. Uh what else? Uh Brisco says the Mezco looks far better. The lightning makes it tough to even the lighting makes it tough to even see. Yeah, I know. Just sh- shout put it in uh shroud it in, in shadow so that they don't see how much it doesn't look like Michael Keaton, right? Uh, can we get a Danny DeVito penguin from your mouth to God's ears? Uh, the mech is called. There we go. Leopardin. Fucking Danny Lee, man, with the goddamn save. There you go. Leopardin. And I just re- I, I just read last year and over the uh, winter, listen to the, um, the uh, I read it for the fourth time. This is my favorite book, Ready Player One. I read it for the fourth time and listened to the, um, the, the audio book. So I should have known okay. that stupid ass. Oh, okay, uh, screen share. Screen share, bam, there you go. Yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty cool looking. Nice. There you go. Yeah, it's, that's that's him. That's the, the Japanese Spider-Man. Yep, I like that. He presses on. It's got like a little like uh, presses on here and it comes out the web. Oh, that's I guess that's, that's how he, he calls his... Uh, is uh, what you call it? what's his name again? Leo, Leo Pardon. Pardon? Yeah. yeah, the mech. Oh, he could swing on on the uh, rope like web. Oh, cool. it opens up. Oh, look at that! Nice. Oh, am I gonna have to buy this shit? <laughs> Just he look, he's like... pretty cool. It's like you know, it's, it's it's a cool version of the character. He's unique. Yeah, I like that's what I'm saying. It it, it is very unique looking. I, I I'm really digging it. Plus, you know, it's they got that whole you know again the Ready Player One type. Uh, you know, thing attached to it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, daily, I like the Ditko eyes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like ah, I dig it. You know, hey, listen, what, what company is that? Uh, th- it's uh, SH Fit Words. Nice. All right. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So, what the, the price on them is like, what, around 65, 70 bucks, something like that? Anywhere from like, that's, that's kind of low. I mean, to begin with, it's usually like 80. 80. All right. 80 so and up, yeah. yeah. It's not going to be $130 at like the goddamn Mezco. Nah, you know? nah, I'll nah. tell you what though. The reason why maybe he doesn't look like Keaton is so that they didn't have to pay the actor licensing. Maybe they went, Ew, you know, that sucks. They maybe they went another way with it to not have to pay the uh, the licensing on the. Uh, I don't know. Kyle would kind of know more about that bullshit than I would. Mm-hmm. Uh, he writes Spider Man: The Emissary of Hell. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what he. I think that's what they call them. Really? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh man. Uh yo, uh there's an even there's a villain version of Spider-Man that it's uh, the Turkish Spider-Man. Uh, okay. look him up on YouTube. It's friggin' hilarious. I think he fights like the Turkish Captain America. And uh like he's like sadistic. He like tortures people. The Turkish Spider-Man. What? Yeah, he's evil as fuck. It's That's hilarious. Crazy. I'll po- I'll post some videos on the Red Cup review Facebook page, which everyone should join. <laughs> if you haven't liked the video already, guys, throw me a goddamn like. Throw bads a goddamn like, will you? A goddamn like. <laughs> um, okay. So getting on to let's let's do some news here real quick uh before we wind the show down. Uh you don't even have to be a fan of wrestling to find this news interesting. Uh I watch wrestling, obviously now with Grayson. I thought this was pretty crazy. These are strange times we're listening we're living through, everybody. Strange, strange times. So basically, Roman Reigns taps out of WrestleMania 36 main event over health concerns. Okay, he's uh according to Pro Wrestler Sheet, right? The superstar will not participate in the event. Reigns is no longer comfortable doing the show at the Performance Center since he is immunocompromised from his battle with leukemia, putting him at a greater risk of infection. He will be replaced for his match with Goldberg, although it is not known who will take his slot at this time. And WrestleMania is supposed to take place next week. Mm -hmm. So that's one. That's the main event of WrestleMania, and he had to pull out because of the uh, coronavirus. Uh, Listen, anybody who has like a problem with that is a piece of shit. No, not at so all. Yeah, exactly. No, there is. Right, come on, the guy's coming back from leukemia. You know? Yeah, yeah, totally. totally. So 100%. he has to look out for his health. Uh, it's just, it's just crazy times, man. That like the main event of WrestleMania a week before has to get uh, uh, changed up, right? And on top of that, Brock Lesnar, who's the champ on Raw, is stuck in Canada, and they're not allowing him back into the United States. So their other title. 
of uh, main event title is that's gone too. Blister's so, gone too. So, oh my god, that Brock sucks. Lesnar right now is stuck in Canada and can't get back here to do the main event of Mania, and and Roman Reigns had to pull out of this main event. So it's just like and Mania has no crowd. It's gonna be no crowd rough. in Mania. Yeah, it's that's crazy, dude. I know it's 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 really rough, mm. man. I don't know. Like they have this, they'll probably be holding to their shareholders and everything else where they have to put it on. But at this point, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, man. If you ask me, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a little little rough there. But um, I've been watching a little bit of wrestling, like on YouTube. I've been watching some matches. Like I watched uh, one match I really liked was uh, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. Too good. Yeah, those are those are too good. Uh, Styles is awesome. Too good style. Yeah, like they really like they it, it, they really sell their moves. Yeah, you know, they 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 wrestle hard. Yeah. Um. Yep. Uh, who else? It was and there was a fatal four that I saw. It was uh, Brock Lesnar, um, Roman Reigns, uh, Samoa Joe, and uh, Braun Strowman. Oh wow! I wonder where the hell yeah. that's from. That's from before it, I was watching. That was probably from like earlier last year. It was yeah, it was a four way match. Holy shit, it was awesome. It was I awesome. Check that one out. If I had and a then, any match, what well, go Yeah. And, and then I watched a, a freaking a match it was um what's his name? Uh who's the fucking guy? John John Cena versus I forgot uh, um Seth Rollins versus Seth Rollins. Right. And it was fucking soft as fuck. It looked fake uh, as hell. Really? Like, it, it looked like they were protecting Cena, like trying to be ginger with him or something. Like the moves looked horrible compared to what I was watching with Lesnar and right. you know, Lesnar fucking just throws everybody around and slams him. It looks fucking intense. Yeah. And Cena is just like, oh my god, it just felt so kiddy. <laughs> Rob, and, and it's funny because I like him in the movies. Like he's really good in the movies. Yeah, he's so funny much. in the movie. He's he has actually pretty good funny like character in movies and shit. You know, but I, I don't hate, like him in wrestling. I hate uh, neither does Grayson. Surprisingly, because Grayson does not like John Cena at all. He watched The Rock beat the hell out of John Cena, and he was rooting for The Rock the whole time. Like, yo, get this guy out of here. Like, he doesn't yeah. even like him. Mm. Like, yo, I don't even care that he's back. Like, I don't. Even, I'm like, he's a pretty good guy to have back. Considering they're like a, a you know a little short staffed on talent, and he's like, I don't mm-hmm. care. Like, get him out of here. But he makes uh, it look so fucking fake. Yeah, yeah. He's no, he he's part of the same bread of like Hogan and 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 him. Like, he's like they're like the over the top. You know, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. PG, it's wrestler. the PG era. Yeah. You know, and, and the PG era, I think, really was at the time was stressing like safety and everything. So I think they were wrestling softer, like the moves looked softer. So I think that's just his style now. And from what I've seen from the other wrestlers, like they're they're wrestling fucking like harder. They're really fucking throwing each other around. Like, and um, I think he's still stuck in that, and it just sticks out now. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know. So. Yeah, fuck him. Cena, stick stick with the movies, John Cena. You're really <laughs> yeah. entertaining. Him. Uh, Donnie says, uh, "Did you see the SmackDown Aurora episode? It was Raw, I think, where the cameras. Oh no, it was SmackDown where the cameras didn't go to commercial break and they started stretching out and waiting for the commercial break to come back on. No, I didn't, but because I was down here, I think doing this, and Grayson was upstairs and he saw it. Um, yeah, they went to like commercial, but they never went to commercial." And the girls just mm-hmm. stopped wrestling and just started stretching out in the ring and kind of waiting because there was no crowd. And then they went to commercial right. after the fact and they saw that it was like, you know, they broke kayfabe basically by accident. Right. Because right. they didn't go to um, commercial break in time. But, you know, it would have been interesting to see. These are all like little things we're catching to see behind the, the scenes and stuff, which is nice. I kind of like, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the fact that WWE is doing everything they can to try to keep us entertained uh, with everything else that's been going on. Um, Speaking of, if I had to recommend one match that I've seen since I've started back up. Now, remember, I started back up in November. No, I started back up in September, but I didn't start watching religiously. Oh, SmackDown religiously because of Grayson uh, until November. And that's the War Games match from uh, NXT. So, Baz, if you can see the women's NXT War Games match. With um, Shayna Baszler, the ex MMA fighter, is was the yeah. was, was the she had her team and this girl Rhea Ripley, who's like um, the wrestling version of uh, Furiosa, like that's like one of her like monikers. She was like the head of the other team, and they had to like fight each other. And do you know what War Games is? Uh, no. All right, it's like two. It's two rings pushed up against each other, right? Like side by side. 
is two straight up rings with a cage around the rings, like um like a steel cage, but with a, with a roof on it. Mm-hmm. So it's basically like a like what is that called? Not the elimination chamber, the other thing that they fight in the hell in the. It's like a hell in the oh, so, two yeah. rings inside of it. And what they do is they start off with two wrestlers, and then every uh, minute and a half they release another wrestler from alternating teams. So it'll start off with the two representatives of the first, two, you know, of the teams, and then a minute and thirty seconds l- l- later, there's like a two on one that goes on until the other person can have their partner come in and help them. And every time you oh, pin somebody, okay, I've seen that before. Match. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. it's yeah. it's it's all you know, the women's the women's match was out of this world what they did in that match and they had chairs in it and all kinds of shit uh tables so, so you'll have like so many getting fucked up by two guys and all of a sudden you'll hear the music of, of somebody yeah, cool exactly. coming and out. comes running like, down oh, David yeah, yeah. yeah that was dope yeah uh, awesome. and it's a couple of good little twists and turns in the match that were, that were pretty dope so i would recommend women's the women's world game uh war games from the nxt uh that was in december from war games all right Anyway. Yeah, Edwin, Edwin Diaz says Dusty Rhodes invented that. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, WCW uh, that was their thing. War yes. games. He, they New tried for Mad Long. Um, what's his face? Uh, Bruce Pritchard tried to get Vince McMahon to do that for Mad Long in the WWE, and Vince McMahon thought it was whack. He was like, "No, nah, I'm not doing it. No, nah, I'm not doing it. It's a WCW thing." And he still wouldn't do it even after he bought the company. He didn't like the idea, and they were like, "All right, let's just try it with the uh, with the NXT characters," and it, it was awesome. It was really friggin' awesome. So they really need to start, you know, doing that more often because I, I I don't know. It was the first time I ever saw a War Games match, and I thought it was really dope. Both the men's the men's War Game match from that that pay per view was really good too, but I thought the women really like sold the shit out of it. Like the women nowadays are really, really, really stepping up. To I'm surprised at how good they are. Uh, well, some of them, not all of them, but some of them. All right, that's all I got for the week, Baz. You have anything else you want to talk about or look at or do? I guess PJ wasn't able okay. to join us. Something I hope he's all right at home. I know he had to like go home and shower and stuff. Well, since you know, since we've all been on, uh, most of us have been home on uh, quarantine, self-imposed or local government imposed or whatever. Um, I, you know, more movies. I'm sure you have right than uh, usual. Watching more movies than when I can because I've been working every one of my days off. So my wife and I have been doing a lot more Tar- Tarantino stuff on the stuff we missed with Tarantino. What did we do last weekend? Last weekend we watched this movie, Uncut Gems. I thought it was pretty whack. I thought the performances were good, but I thought the movie was kind of whack. That was that Saturday night's movie. That was Sandler and his big... Uh, yeah, he was good. Mature, he did a great oh, job. Yeah. The movie had no point. The movie was about like a guy who ga- gambles and gets in over his head. Is like a, a diamond dealer that buys and sells stuff and gambles a lot. But well, that was the point. You were supposed to be on edge. You know, no, you were. That yeah. as far as yeah. like it's weird. Like, as far as the movie being like, if you just said, watch this, and the whole purpose of the movie is to be nervous, and that's the only point of the movie is to feel like you're nervous, then the movie is an A A plus. But yeah. other than that, it kind of like other than that, as spoken from our best buddy over the uh over the Great Plains of the USA. Uncut Gems sort of sucked because <laughs> it sort of did suck. I'm trying to be as and and overhyped. There you go. Overhyped. It was. It was overhyped. It kind of sucked. His performance in it was really good, but it had no point. The movie was just kind of like, all right, whatever. Like I could have done without that and watched something else. <laughs> so if you're thinking of watching it, go and watch something else. Uh, Robin Baz, have you watched the Dark Side of the Ring series? I don't know where to find it. I do want to watch it. I don't know where to find it. Um, and yes, I am going to be watching it when I get a chance to, I just don't know where to find it. I'm going to have to like Google it, or you could just tell me now and I'll maybe watch an episode by the time next week's show rolls around. I just want to say, I saw either saw that looking through like Netflix or Amazon prime. One of those two YouTube, Rob, wake up. <laughs> what decade is it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. I got to watch it. I got to watch it on YouTube. Hopefully it's not YouTube red and I could just straight up watch it that would be nice um what have you been watching baz anything well i i did a um a little minor uh, star trek uh, marathon i did uh wrath of khan um then i watched the um the one with the whale where they go back in time to, yeah the uh, voyage home yeah the voyage home i watched that um and then the uh, undiscovered country which uh kirk gets set up uh for uh the murder of a, uh, a Klingon diplomat. 
Right. So, uh, which was which was the last one with the original uh, cast from the original series. So I watched those. Um, what else? Uh, Gemini Man with uh, Will Smith. How was it? It was good. It was good. It was you know it was directed by Ang Lee. Oh um, boy, that's a hit or miss. Yeah, it's a hit or miss exactly. But uh, this this was good. The action was good. You know, he basically fights. Uh, uh, he works for the government. He retires. And then they send a, a young version, a young cloned version of himself uh, after him to uh, take him out. Nice. Okay. And so that, I, I liked it. It was it was a good action movie. A good good. Um, and I, I saw finally uh, Ford versus Ferrari. How was that? Uh, excellent. That's that was definitely an Oscar contender. Definitely. Nice. I want to see. Uh, that. The performances are excellent. Matt Damon's awesome. Our boy Batman Christian Bale fucking plays an excellent, excellent character. I mean, the guy is so, so good. I mean, it, it's funny for like you know, when you consider like Bale like a, a movie star, and he's 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 even though he's like a movie star, like he's a character actor still. Like like when he he plays characters, yeah. You know what I mean, like yeah. some some movie stars like uh, they play themselves in every role. You know what I mean? Robert Denny but, Jr. And I love Robert Denny Jr., but yeah. he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, even De Niro at this point is playing yeah. himself. Like, they don't transform into somebody else. But he transformed into this other character. Like, even just the way he walked. He walked with a slump. His head was forward. The way he spoke. Uh, the way he – he uh, his personality. It just, like, brilliant performance. And, and the you know, the, the driving scenes were fucking awesome. And just – it's based on a true story. Nice. Uh, so, like you know, when you watch like you watch a movie that you know that kind of actually happened is that added extra to it. They're like, wow, this. Well, I'm shit. dying like, to see him in Vice. I, I'm dying to see him play Dick Cheney, and I heard that that. Oh was yeah, yeah. I heard it was good, but it's not very factual. And like you watch it, thinking that like a lot of this shit happened, and it was like it did happen, but with this a little extra. And I don't like watching well, twist, yeah. movies that that extra, like either conservative or liberal twist. Just show me what the fuck happened and have these guys. Especially play when it's like so like political, you know, it gets to you know, yeah. like this wasn't as political. This is just like car racing. Yeah. So it's not it's nothing that heavy. <sighs> um, but uh, it, it was uh, it was great. You have to see it, dude. It was really that good. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. I just, I've been hearing about this documentary uh, documentary series on uh, Netflix called Tiger King or something. Yeah, I heard, about that. That I heard about Brett uh, Bert Kreischer was talking about that with Joe Rogan, and he was like, "It's the best." He goes, "Within the first thirty seconds, you will be locked into this show. It's that good." He was like, yeah. it's unbelievable how good it is. Like that these people that deal with tigers and shit and a lady gets her arm ripped off in the show or something. And as he oh, rips the hospital and then comes back and still deals with the tigers, he was like, it's, it's out of this world. So I'm going to give Tiger, uh, Tiger King uh, uh, an actual checkout. I was like, what the hell is this nonsense? And I, when I was hearing about it, I was like, damn. He was like, no, I'm serious. He was like, I watched it with my kids and it was nuts. He was like, and it was a little bit too graphic even for them. But he has teenage kids, so whatever. Are anyway, you getting the Are you getting the feed from the live comments? Because it stopped for me. Yeah, I'm getting it. Baz rewatched HBO Spawn. Why did it end so too soon? Uh, that's what Donnie asked you. I have no fucking idea. Uh, then Kev's made <laughs> sure Jim Carrey, a Jim Carrey's Shatner impression from Pet Detective with the whales and uh, Kyle and and whatever. Okay, see, all right, season two wasn't as good as season one. I don't think with Spawn. Uh, uh, yeah, I haven't okay. seen the cartoon in. in since it came out, so dude, I remember coming home like freaking from being out side, fucking around, getting messed up, whatever, drinking, and coming back like late at night, putting on HBO and watching fucking Spawn, yeah. like in the dark, all fucking, I'm all wrecked. And like, <laughs> oh, it, was, it was such a dark, friggin' awesome series, and like did not yeah. pull punches. And well, I, I like the fact that they were able to use friggin' Chapel, the character who actually kills yeah. Al Simmons. Because yeah. remember in the movie they they couldn't use Chapel. Yeah, I know. They used some chick. I forgot her name. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> she she was hot though, but you know Chapel's cool, man. Yeah, no, he's um, awesome. I do like him. I like that character. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'd let you guys know what I'm doing tomorrow night. I don't know. We we don't really have anything on the docket just yet. I am off Sunday. Then I'm working another. I'm working all my days off except for Sundays, gentlemen. Everybody, that's we're all doing our part here. Listen, social distance yourselves, okay? Lock yourselves in the house. Stay, you know, do it for Aunt May. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you like that one, huh? Yeah, it was funny. Join uh, the Facebook group. Like, you know, put up some pictures, you know. Some of you guys are home, you know. Take pictures of your collections, you know. Show us your collections. Exactly. A lot of people send me, like, private messages. Like, hey, look at this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to give you the same response I'm going to give you. People send you private me messages saying, hey, look at this. Yeah, You're like a sick fuck. I know these guys are crazy. It's just degenerate. Uh, <laughs> but hey, um, look at this. Put it on the actual Facebook page, because we'll yeah. all comment on it. Baz will get to see it, you know, like other people. Yeah, I'll get, get to see it. Yeah. Uh Jay but, uh, Priest. That was her name. Jessica Priest. There you go. Nice. All Jessica's are fucking bitches, right? <laughs> Remember uh, that? We used to say that back in the day. Like, yeah, every Jessica is a fucking bitch. Oh, it's one of those girls' names. I have like a moniker attached to it. Uh, I got to stop yawning. I got to get my coffee. I'm actually going to work at midnight, everybody. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah, midnight to uh, midnight to eight. Uh, hey, Rob, did you hey. color this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> missing out on my color, my 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 color form series. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Too. A bad, this, uh, you know. This it's funny. This this cover has become like iconic. Like I've seen it on like uh, t-shirts, yeah, and shit. Like it's it's a popular cover now. It's uh, George Perez too. The um, uh, I'm taking all the oh, shit. I need coffee. I'm taking all the pictures out of Zoe's coloring book that I know that's like she might not color. It's a little bit too crazy and detailed, and I'm using that mm -hmm. as like therapy time. I just sit at the table like just coloring, and that's why I haven't put up the the uh, the white knight. Uh, review yet because i'm just like literally sitting at my dining room table with a cup of coffee coloring like trying to be around the family just calm my brain through all this shit because i listen to i'm listening to ben shapiro i'm listening to jimmy dork i listen to both things right so i listen to a lot of conservative stuff i listen to some liberal stuff because i don't want to play sides so i'm listening to both and uh my brain is just getting and plus twitter is being swamped with this every time i go to work it's it's covid 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 the world's ending what are we gonna do how do we stop this so i'm just sitting there coloring like like trying to just go back to a quieter time <laughs> that may be may be like the next transition for you to do more like uh comic book reviews i mean since like the collecting world is gonna is is taking a huge fucking hit as if as is everything else pretty much man so Right, I mean, are they even showing new product? Anymore? Oh, they're showing. Like, they're know? just not going to be releasing. Where's my white yeah. review? He's awesome. Uh, the um, uh, Diamond's not sending anything out, like any. Mm -hmm. So, like, I have a bunch of shit on pre-order with them. I have those Batman the Animated Series bus. I got um uh, a couple of uh, of Mezco figure. A bunch of Mez. All my Mezcos come from from Diamond, pretty much. So. Like, what am I going to do? Uh, it's going to be like, hey, guys, look at this. Like, I, I was joking around during the last unboxing video I did where I unboxed the comics and I showed the trades off. And I was like, I hear people like unboxing videos. So maybe I'll just put a bunch of shit I already have in a box. <laughs> and I'll just pull it out and go, hey, look at this thing. Let's see what's in the box. <laughs> like, you know, I don't get I don't get unboxing videos. I don't understand those. It's like if you know what the person's going to be looking at, why do you need to see them actually unbox it when you already know what it is, you know? Uh, or literally pulling it out of a brown box seems to be like a big deal or whatever. Yeah, people just like the, that act, right? Of just taking it out. Just taking right it out. Like, okay, let's yeah. open up the box and let's see what's in the box. Maybe I'll just put a bunch of hot toys in a big brown box and just pull them out one at a time and say, yeah, here's something from seven or eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, whatever, man. Uh, so, all right, everybody, listen, uh, take care. Uh, share the friggin' news, man. Uh, I love going live with you guys, but 13 people in the chat just uh, just ain't cutting it. I want to thank that girl, Maria, for sending us the donation this week. That's our second donation. Where, where did Maria come from? Uh, the ether? I have no idea. I don't even know who she is. She's like, you guys are great. and People don't know what they're missing, not watching you guys. And I'm like, well, I can't advertise on other people's pages. I need like, I don't need you guys to advertise for me, but it'd be like, hey, I'm doing this. What are you other collectors doing tonight? Whatever. I don't know. Um, but they listen to so he wins the race, right? Any uh, potential future guests coming up? Uh, well, Paradox Nerd was supposed to be on tonight, but he <laughs> wasn't able Good to. Good job. No, no, he's probably <laughs> fucking, Who knows? You know, like I you said. All right, I hope he's safe and shit, but, uh, you know. Yeah, he's, he's out there busting his ass. 
He really is. He had a like he was talking about like not having a mask and having to put a bandana on and treat somebody with a ventilator. And I was like, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. Damn. So you yeah. actually have the paradox nerd and the red cup review are real life superheroes. I'm making sure the world yeah, is out in cholera and 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 the black plague, and he's literally putting people on machines, making sure they don't they don't die. That's why like a lot of people getting pissed off, like say like when Gal Gadot makes that stupid fucking video about uh, imagine and it's like celebrities, please just like you know it's not about you right now. Like, you know, like it's, it's about what we're going through and and the struggle that we're going to have. And the people, the first responders, the people that are still working, it's about them. Attention needs to be paid to, to those people and to us now. Like, yeah. Stop trying to fucking I'll tell you what, though. Um, get attention from us. Leave us alone right now. We'll watch your movies and fight a run home. I will say this: but, I do. I do have to play devil's advocate just for a second, and I 100 percent agree with you. This is I'm just playing devil's advocate for a second. Their job is to just read lines and entertain, right? Right. Like they're just supposed to make they're, they're they're clowns. They're they're court jesters that we enjoy watching to get our minds off of things. So. When they do things like that, I don't get mad because they're doing the only thing that they're capable of doing is just being the court jester or the clown to like, you know, dance for me, clown, act for me, whatever. Like, But, the, but that's but, but we want it in the context of a movie or a play or a song or something. It, it's different than when they're like going on like their, their private, you, you know, channel on YouTube or something and then maybe sharing a, a political well, opinion or getting involved in. Yeah, in, no, I in, agree. I, I totally you know. agree what you're saying. Here's something that's pretty awesome. I don't have the link. I'm going to put it for the people in, in, that, that are part of the Red Cup Review Facebook page. I'll ask Laura to share the link. Um, there are, there's a, a YouTube page, right? A YouTube channel where actors and actresses are reading uh, children's books to kids, but like read, like like reading the book out loud and like acting the voices and like right, one that's, of, see that's kind of cool. That's cool. The one yeah. the one Grayson just uh, watched like two weeks ago was with Remy Malik, the mm -hmm. the guy who plays um you know uh uh, uh, uh Queen. Right, uh, Freddie Mercury did a, a a voiceover and read a story. So they have like where you could watch them, and the, I think one of the new ones that's up is the um, uh, Chris Pine. Doing it. So it's pretty cool. You can watch like Chris Pine read the Wild Things or something, you know, like if, with your kids and shit, something to kind of. And that's what else are they gonna do? That's their job. I it, think the big like problem was the choice of song. Also, I don't think they yeah, they no, really I'm not a fan listen of to the that fucking that. lyrics. Joe yeah. Rogan goes, he goes. How are you going to say the first lines of that song? Imagine there's no heaven when people's grannies are dying. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. there's no heaven. You know, so like it's it's I the know. song also. I, listen, I like John Lennon a lot. I just don't like his politics, but I do like his singing and I like his guitar playing. I like him in the Beatles. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. him. I'm not gonna hate. I'm a Beatles guy. So um, I'm, I'm always I was always a Paul McCartney fan. Yeah, I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I do like McCartney better overall, but I really enjoy Lennon's voice, especially when the two of them go, dude, that's the original Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, bro. The yeah. two singers that go back and forth. I mean, it's the, come on, you have the Lay Stanley, Chris Cantrell thing. It all goes back, right? Like a decade. His fucking choice in women is terrible, though. Oh, Yoko is. Ono? Oh, Holy I fuck. I don't got a shit with the guy, so. <laughs> like, I heard, yo, I heard he was a wife beater, too. Well, look, man. Uh, yeah, the guy's not here anymore, so it doesn't really fucking matter, does it? <laughs> like, I don't know. Imagine I before I was born, for Christ's sakes. But then you know, then you had a, you had Madonna like acting all goofy and shit. You know, it's ridiculous. She's in fucking rose petals and she's talking about it. Get the fuck. That's fucking ridiculous. Whatever. Like, I, I, I'm I, talking I about how coronavirus is the great, the great uniter, and you know, it doesn't matter how smart or. Rich, you are. I it's know. The great has no borders and all that bullshit. Yeah. Whatever, man. Whatever yeah, like your beliefs are. But I'm not. Let's. We got to get off this, dude. You know what? Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the fact that the fucking Jack Briscoe over here, one, two, three, four, just gave us a fucking uh, a nice little donation to the channel. So I, we really appreciate you too, man. So you and Maria are the, are the, are the uh, stars of the week. But we know that you got more money. Oh, oh shit. yeah, another five forty nine Canada man. Oh shit, um, dude! We got some Canadian watchers, so I had no idea we even had people in Canada that knew who the fuck we were. This is crazy, and this is what I love—the fact that like, pe like, like Donnie hit me up before the show, and he's like, "Hey," like, and I'm like, "How the hell do I know this guy?" And he's like, friends with um Lawrence uh, Morton, who does the uh, the the toy time machine. What a name, Lawrence Morton. Yeah, I got a funny Lawrence story for you. He knows Lawrence, and um. 
I was like, how do I know this guy? And he's like, I'm the guy asking about the Mexicos. And I was like, oh, shit. See, the world is getting smaller and smaller. As long as you guys let me know who the hell you are, it's it's awesome to, to finally meet and talk to you guys. But um, when I was doing my first sale, like I, we did like a, a live sale on Facebook where I put out all my figures, right, out of one of my tubs. And me, Grayson, uh, Laura, and, and Zoe were all putting our stuff out on the floor. And we were like, okay, this is going for this much. This is going for this much. And guys were like bidding each other out and saying, I'll take this. I'll take that. And Lawrence bought a ton, a ton of shit for uh, the toy time machine. And Grayson kept going, Lawrence, Lawrence. <laughs> right? So he's like, hey, what's up with the kid making fun of my name? And I went, nah, bro, that's Batman, man. He's, he's shouting yeah. out like, you know, gentlemen, let's broaden our minds, Lawrence, you know? So yeah. uh, that was like all little, uh, that's the end of the story. It's kind of like Peter's out after that. But that's how I, <laughs> that's how this whole little six degrees of Kevin Bacon thing works out. Lawrence Martin. That sounds like a scientist name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doctor Lawrence Mar Morton. Uh, Jay. Oh, Jay Belk is with us. What's up? Late to the show, but that's cool. Um, Rob, you guys see this? Says Kyle. Rob, you guys see this? See what? <laughs> John. <Lewis. laughs> uh, where are you? I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing. Anyways, um. Uh, yeah, so stay inside, shelter in place, all that bullshit. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, Lawrence is my I, friend. I hate going outside away from me. See, there you go. Six degrees of separation. I fucking hate going outside now. I hate yeah. It. Well, no, you know what? We've been going out in front of the house and on our deck and just kind of like all of our neighbors. That's cool. And we've been social distancing, hanging out. So like I came home today from Home Depot. And like my wife standing there with the kids and there's the next door neighbor with his kids. And then there's a lady across the street and the other lady over here and another guy. And everyone's literally standing two arms lengths apart from each other, just hanging out and talking. Hmm. And it was like more talking than we've ever done as a community because people are just dying to get out. But everyone's like, all right, I'll you just stay over there. So I've seen pictures of people pulling out lawn chairs and like just drinking beers and barbecuing, and then the guy next door doing it, and they're just like waving to each other like yeah. it's a big rock just park. just remember when everything is back to normal, they're gonna, they're gonna forget about you all over I again, Rob. Rob. I know it's fucking winter and fall. Not until your everybody. friends, Rob. No, darkness. <laughs> they're gonna fucking ignore you all over again. Oh God. They're gonna give you a side glance and then keep on walking. Kyle, what the hell am I supposed to see? Rob, you see this. Before I sign off, show me what I'm supposed to see. Otherwise, I'm leaving you in the dust, pal. Uh, what else is going on? That's pretty much it, guys. Um, next week, hopefully, there'll be more shit for us to talk about and more reveals. Otherwise, hopefully. we'll be on press for shit for us to even fucking Try talk. not to fucking die, people. Oh, wait that a is your job. Here, here's something. What's his face sent me this this week? Some. Uh, I keep telling him, yeah, 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 I'll talk about it on the show. I'll talk about it on the show. And I never do. Uh, I don't know why it won't let me post in the chat. Oh, okay. He's been sending me Iron Studios product, Iceman, one tails, one scale, six scale statue. Iceman? That character, that character's fucking ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 170. All right, look, I'm not going to share it from, from the page here, but I'll do this. I'll do this. Old, I'll do it old school for the time being since we're getting ready to sign off. That's pretty dope. That's part of the sentinel set, I think. Hello? So stop! Just fucking I'm gonna shoot stop. you with ice. He looks dope. That's Ice Man. I don't know. I like. I've always liked uh, Bobby. You have a Neil deGrasse Tyson pop up thing. Yeah, of those things. Have, they live. <laughs> look, there's they live on my. It's my phone, right? They live, and then Neil deGrasse Tyson's floating head. <laughs> it works. Oh three circles. Look, it's one circle, two circle, three circles. Right? He's right in the middle of the. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, yeah. and they live uh so iron studios ice man looks dope as hell man they they i think they nailed him here's the, the face looks actually really good too. i can't even hold this goddamn thing yeah well looks dope the x-men are awesome bad stop hating i fucking love the x-men right. oh my god fucking pj Fuck you. <laughs> well, F you too. <laughs> Everybody, the Paradox Nerd, fresh oh. saving the world. Oh, what's going on, guys? How's it going? Sorry, I'm a little late. It's fine. But it's fine. How you doing? Uh, good, man. Um, uh, we were just getting ready to sign off, and you show up now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the Last Jedi sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, Baz? Uh, uh, same old shit. 
And just trying to stay alive, yeah. buddy. You know, I'm in yes, you and me, all of us are trying to stay yeah. alive. Yo, how is how is it where you are, man? New Jersey and New York are oh my gosh, the the it's it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm glad to be on, man. Thanks for having me, Rob. Uh, I mean, I'd like to. Yeah, I know it's it's rough with your job and situation and stuff. Like, I I want to. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make it. Uh, a special I'm I'm, I'm free. I'm free next Friday. So if you're free, let's do it. There you go. Next Friday. Hey, Bass, Bass uh, messaged me on the side. He said we want to like really talk about the Last Jedi this time. Well, you know, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know, you be, no, no, no. Keep you, that, you know, you, you put me on your fucking show when you talk about that shit. Why my show? You've been talking about this Last Jedi talk for like couple years now right Bias? oh god yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah 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 we're gonna do it guys we're gonna do it we did all the episodes right we did all we trashed the prequel you trashed the prequels yeah and all the way to the last jedi when we're ready we're like yo this is our time and then well i know, I know what's gonna happen you see yeah. i know that the last jedi now that all three movies are out right and mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about the last jedi and the two of you guys are gonna be able to team up on me and beat me down and i'll be trying to defend the movie <laughs> and then uh we'll talk about all the all the mistakes that they corrected mm. in the new movie which i know you didn't like and i know baz liked but the minute you say you didn't like it baz is gonna say fuck it that movie sucked too and it's just gonna be one an hour and a half of throwing tomatoes at rob uh well see the thing was i think it was okay all right whatever it was you know it's an enjoyable movie and then they had to write the effing book and yeah. once they wrote the book they yeah. they like I don't know what they did. They just kept yeah, on man. digging themselves a hole. I know, and they it's just kept like, digging. I'll be on, and I'll say this now, and if ever if you guys ever address this on your show, because I say I talk actually talk to you guys like when I'm listening to your show. By yeah. the way, everybody, PJ does the sixth. He's the paradox nerd, but he does the Sith cast. Yeah, uh, on on Apple Podcast, so you should listen to that. But um. When I'm listening in my car, I'm actually like in the conversation, like talking out loud, going, please somebody fucking mention this. Please somebody mention this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got to have you on, man. Like uh, you and Baz at the same time. <laughs> when he said, when they said in the book that the the son is really a failed clone, so she's really the daughter, but stay with the granddaughter, I was like, what are they doing? Just leave the fucking story alone, bro. Just leave it alone and stop overcoming. Uh, uh, you know, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. It, that stops everybody like freaking out over like uh, the uh, Palpatine having a sex life. Because everybody was like, who did he fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's so fun. now, like, that's off the table. So now, now you know, that's not good enough. I mean, I, I like it better, actually. Oh, you like the clone of the clone yeah, of the clone of the clones of the clone? <laughs> yeah. I'm so, I'm sick and tired of the clones. I'm serious. I'm like, what the heck? It's like, oh guys, uh, we ran out of ideas, so let's call it a clone. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> the whole beginning from The Force Awakens, there were it, the movies. Th this story didn't start with a good idea, yeah. so that's why you have it, this is just a retread. I mean, it 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 steals from the expanded universe, which is a superior freaking narrative. Yeah. So I totally agree, man. But I was gonna ask you guys, did you guys talk about uh, the the Yoda, the baby Yoda stuff already or no? Nah, yeah, no, we yeah, I was shit. We were going to sign on and then I saw your head and I was I sign off rather, I saw your head and I was like, all right, let's just get him on for a few minutes, you know. Well, here's my thoughts, guys. I mean, for all those people that trashed sideshow, oh yeah, or drop the hammer. You know, like, oh, Hot Toys is going to do it better. Oh, I'm going to wait for Hot Toys. Oh, Sideshow's crap. Oh, what's underneath the body? And you get this. I mean, it's good, but, it's man. A it's hot. It's a hot toy. It's a, it's a hot it's toy. toy. Yeah, I totally. It's more expensive, right? It's about, what, 430 bucks, right? Yeah. Um, Or 410 bucks or 430 with shipping. But look at the seam, man. That seam is... Uh, what the, the, the seam, I'll be honest. The seam doesn't even the, the seam doesn't bother me because. It, but first of all, I like the other one better too. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Yeah, it doesn't bother me because they're marketing it as a toy, and a toy has. Like, I don't mind joints on like when people bitch about to joints on hot toys. I'm like, it's a toy. Yeah, but, but still, it's a hair, lot. Yeah, the, the translucent look of the skin, the paint job, way better on the uh, side show. Of course, you're gonna get because it it's the guys that made the damn prop. Yeah, I mean they have like the master mold. Of course, it's gonna be like. I mean, we're all assuming that it's it's looking like the prototype pictures, right? We're yeah. we're we're basing our judgment off of that. 
Um, but still, man, like I just feel like people shouldn't be like really trashing something if they have, you know what I'm saying? Like if they don't really have everything all, you know, everything. You gotta right. understand it like this in conjunction with stuff. Like it's not sideshows, it's sideshows licensed product, but Master Replicas is making the toy. That's mm -hmm. like like uh you know oh i'm not gonna buy asmus's lord of the rings figure because they're not as superior to hot toys but then ka kim is doing their sculpting now of course you buy the fucking thing it's gonna look awesome you know yeah it, it's in conjunction with you know yeah so that's why that's i mean that's my opinion i think uh on th first of all this is a life-size replica of baby yoda i'm talking about sideshow by the way right. uh, for 300 was it 350 bucks Dude, when's the last time you bought something that's life size and for that for that price? I don't think even Yoda, a life size Yoda is even that cheap, right? Yeah, no, it's not. You bought yeah. the most recent thing, right? Don't you have a life size Yoda uh, collectible that you bought or some shit? Don't no, it's it's big. The fucking well, the one you bought is pretty big, right? We were just talking about this a couple of months ago. You like you bought it from uh, the collector zone? That big Yoda? Oh no, no, that, that's a core scale. Oh, okay. All it's right. it's kind of small, but right, I right. mean the base itself is big, but right. The yeah, whole thing but, is like the size of a premium format, top to bottom. Then right. It's like yeah, a, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, but still, I mean, this is a beautiful. Talk about side shows. This that's a beautiful statue, and I'm not taking anything away from Hot Toys. Um, it's still a good. It's a. I'm getting both. Let's put it that way. Oh, you are a you are a oh, sucker wow. for Baby Yoda, huh? Well, I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have one to carry me to carry around, like in the mall, and you know, put it to sleep. You're and... gonna pick up some bitches. Oh yeah, definitely pick up some bitches. With baby oh, I'm gonna straight to the gym. I'm not gonna work right. out. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the you know, yeah, but yeah, we got we got a question from uh, Donnie Das fifty four. Oh, by the way, Rob, Don Donnie Das, your, real quick. That's your boy, tells, right? Yeah, he tells me to take off my shirt all the time, but I don't yeah. see you on the freaking live stream. I had about six already. Where the hell have you been, dude? You've been <laughs> uh, just only going to Red Cup now? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. All right he's back. asking us uh, our favorite hot toy and least favorite that, that we own. Uh, PJ, you're the guest here. You go first. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so my favorite hot toy is uh, Anakin Sky. I know Rob's gonna. I know Rob is gonna. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking, freaking knew it. Anakin Skywalker, and I'm being biased because I'm a huge Anakin fan. I I love the dark side and the light side. Um, my least favorite hot toy. Uh, I, pro I probably sold it already. Uh, I mean, right now. How about the uh, least favorite one that you still like? Because I kind of like yeah. it. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. Um, my, that you own. You still own. I, yeah. yeah. If you sold oh, it, then no. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 what's that called? Uh, the Black Widow, uh, Infinity War. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it's okay. all right. Eh, the, the likeness is not there. It's really hard to futz around with the hair. I mean, it's a good figure, but um, I mean, the new one's going to be 10 times better, in my oh, opinion. Yeah. yeah. That always happens. Baz? Uh, can you guess what my favorite is? Your favorite if is you... Michael Keaton. Uh, and your least favorite is... I don't even know how many other fucking Hot Toys you uh, have. No, no, no. Hot Toys Joker, man. Jack Nicholson. Oh, Jack Nicholson. Now that would have been my mm. Jack. You had that? Go, the yeah. best? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, I'm so yeah, jealous. I, I was all in first day. Remember, Rob? Yeah. Like, yeah. We, yep. we, we got that came... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my favorite. Least favorite would be uh, Aquaman. I don't think they nailed the uh, face sculpt totally. It's you still know, a good hot toy, but I don't think they nailed it. Do you think, would you have rather liked it with a uh, rooted hair than the sculpted one? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. I don't like the, I don't like the, the rooted hair. Like the one, like the ones you have to like comb and shit. No, mm -hmm. no. The only yeah. time I've seen rooted hair look really good that hasn't been a custom and it still hasn't even come out yet. Is the prototype Gandalf, Gandalf figure that looks yeah. incredible? Other that looks than cool. that, I haven't. I'm yet to see a rooted hair figure where I'm like, holy shit! You know that that's not custom. Okay, uh, you hold on. I get to guess because you guessed on me. Oh, uh, everyone knows what the fuck my favorite hot toy is. For Christ's sakes, Christopher Reeve. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh, but it, it, for multiple reasons, I think that that's purely the best release and best bang for your buck for any hot toy figure that I've seen. The it has the best um, uh, the, box. The base. And I don't even the like box. box. I don't give a shit about box. But it has a beautiful box. It's the uh, emblem. It's it's, it's, it's the emblem exactly. Yeah, you know. 
the blue. I was gonna say. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Rob. I mean, I didn't. I mean, um, for for what it is now, like that that figure hasn't been outdated. It's it still holds up till today standards. You know, in terms so I'm of saying it's like for something that was released almost ten years ago. That's basically yeah. ten years ago. That the figure is incredible. So. I'm gonna go with that. plus the price that it was at it was two hundred and nine bucks or some shit when it came out. Oh my gosh, two hundred and nine bucks. Two hundred and nine dollars, bro. Imagine that shit. And the base is fantastic. It yeah. the fit sculpt is fantastic. The suit still holds up. I have, I have no problems with it. So I'm going with that um as my favorite. And I don't oh, again, I have to I'm gonna preface this by saying I don't have every hot toy that I have, I really like. I don't have. I will just sell it if I don't like it. I'm not like ah. I'm not really that crazy about this figure, and I'm just gonna hold on to it. If I don't like it, the shit is, is going to be the first thing to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll take a quick look around, and then maybe I'll narrow it down. Out of these cabinets here, my least favorite is probably. Uh, I'm gonna say my f a toss up between my farm boy Luke and my Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper. Even though they're both really good figures, they're both really plain figures. They're just kind of plain con compared to the way other figures look, mm -hmm. right? So uh, those two, and if I had to narrow it down, probably uh, probably the Stormtrooper because he's just a genetic trooper. I, I like hot toys that have like the head sculpts and shit. You know, like I'm, I'm yeah, most of the head sculpts. Yeah, I agree. Other cabinet, I would say probably my Age of Ultron Black Widow, but it was given to me as a gift, so it kind of holds a special place in my heart, so I really can't say. It's my least favorite looking one, but it's I like it because it was it, it has like sentimental value to me. Uh -huh. So barring that, uh, I would say shit, man, this is a fucking hard question, man. Fuck you for asking this question. I fuck it. I'll go with, I'll go with a, the, 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 the Stormtrooper and the Farm Boy Luke. For, for my least favorites. Okay. You know, there are figures that I have that are non hot toys that I like more, but it's, this could be sacrilege. Like I have the escape from New York snake Pliskin that it got shit on, but then I got the head uh, painted. And I actually took uh, uh, the jacket itself. What I did with the jacket, because it was really shiny is I took a piece of um, Brillo. Uh -huh. and I scratched the jacket up a little bit and I scuffed it up and I gave it some battle damage. And that looks like a real actual authentic leather jacket. So I like that figure more even than I have the, um, the Jack Burton, uh, uh, Big Trouble Little China figure, but which are, are obviously not as superior as their Hot Toys figures, the sideshow ones. But I just happen to like those because I'm a sucker for anything with uh, uh, Kurt Russell. I, I eat that shit up. Like you know, mm. it is what it is, man. I was gonna say, what figure would you guys love? Would love Hot Toys to make? Like which character? The Number one character, character. possibly get made, or which character that is definitely not getting made that I would just like them to make, or any character, any character that you want ma Hot Toys to make, like like right now. <sighs> Michelle Pfeiffer, Catwoman. Yep. Oh, oh, good, good choice. There you go. Good choice because we're missing that Catwoman for freaking uh, Batman yeah. Returns. Yep. Yeah. I mean, and I want, and I want a Riddler. I want a Jim Carrey Riddler. Oh God, I'd even, I'd even go for the Penguin over the fucking. <laughs> I like Jim Carrey, but um, I can imagine what like a DX set would look like with the mm -hmm. Penguin, and in a DX set would be outrageous mm -hmm. uh, if they did that. But I got a second Baz on that. I would, I'm going to probably go with Michelle Pfeiffer, Catwoman. I would like to see a Linda Carter, uh, Wonder Woman. Nice. Oh, dude, good choice. Yeah, like uh, I mean, there are obvious choices like uh, Bespin Han. You know, he's getting made eventually. Like, yeah, I know. Cool. I was gonna say Bespin Han too. Like, I'm trying to think of all the hot toys that uh, I mean, Star Wars hot toys that they could make. But he's yeah, coming. There's a there's. I heard there's a problem with uh, possibly Lando ever getting made. Why? A rumor mill. I can't. I can't say where the rumor I heard it from, but I've heard it from a pretty reliable source. And uh, uh, how do you say this without sounding like a complete racist asshole? <gasps> yeah, exactly. That's it. Can't uh, say it, especially with that preface. It. I, I can't say. It. Let me just pre preface it with that. I, I can't say it without sounding like a complete. I want it. I want a fucking Lando Calrissian, like from a Bespin Lando. Yeah. Well, that's like one of my most wanted hot toys for Star Wars. But people in other markets, those type of figures don't sell as well as in China. Can. Yeah. I'm trying not to just put it out there for crying out loud. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, I'm not worried about being racist against China. <laughs> I'm fine. 
Uh, but anyway, <laughs> like, it, it, like the, they're, having, they're having a problem selling the Black Panther figure over there. They're having a problem selling the um, figures of that nature. And that's their that's well known. Everybody knows that. I could be. I could have wrong information, guys. Don't get it from me. I heard it from a pretty reliable. Source, I believe, but they I shrunk. What's his name? They shrunk Finn's picture on the on the. Finn, the there's another Force Awakens uh, a poster in China. Yeah. So exactly, it's it's like not really cool in my book, considering I, I actually like both of those characters. But whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, here Briscoe hits the nail on the head. The one toy that'll never, ever, ever in a million years get made from any company that I would love for them to make: Andrew Dice Clay from the Adventures of Force. Oh, nice. nice! As seen by the poster that is always over my shoulder. In oh, every nice! Episode. The fake Italian himself. Yep. <laughs> Andrew. Wait, he's not. He, oh, he's not an Italian. No, nah, he's nope. Jewish. <laughs> what? He's a Jew he's from Brooklyn. He's a fake Italian. I thought, yep. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, so Italian. I, I never, I never knew his last last name. I didn't Andrew know his Silverstein. last name was Silverman. Yeah, Andrew Silverstein. Silverstein. Well, oh, boy. It, it's like Arthur Fonzarelli, the guy who played it was Henry Winkler. He's Jewish also. Yep. yep. You got a lot of Jews that play Italians. Um, the friggin' the guy who plays the Punisher is Jewish, right now. Oh, yeah. Robert Hall? Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't know it was Jewish. He's Sicilian. The, the same. Why, for, every, for some reason, Italians have to play, like in movies, every Italian has to play uh, a, a, a Spanish or Puerto Rican guy, and every Puerto Rican guy has to play an Italian. Like Andy Garcia, always an Italian. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his face? Always plays the um, uh, Al Pacino. Always a Spanish guy. <laughs> it is what it is. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, he played he played an Italian guy, obviously in the uh, Godfather. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, here we go. Here's a fucking winner. I chopped my nuts for a, a hot toy Cesar Romero Joker. That's another big one that needs to come out. Um, I could end my collection after those. Rob Baz, PJ, what figures could you stop at? Uh, Ford failing <laughs> or like, uh, boy. You know? I mean, the only figures I, I mean, if I collect all like my favorite characters from all the Star Wars movies, if I'm able to get all of them. Uh, including, you know, Lando, uh, Lobot. <laughs> yeah, whatever, that's cool. Chewbacca. Oh, hold on. Uh, I really Lobot, wasn't Lobot supposed to be in the movie and he got uh, taken out or something? Was there a deleted scene? I'm not sure. No idea. I know okay. there's no deleted right. scenes with the release either. I'm waiting for the 31st yeah. the official release, but I heard there's like no deleted scenes. Yeah. So, like, this, yeah. Whole, this whole conjecture over there being like a, a, a JJ cut and all that other stuff, PJ, I don't know, man. They're either suppressing this in the archives, or it just does. It just isn't there. Just isn't there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see, right? Like that's what they said about the the Snyder cut. I mean, yeah, I know. I mean, how how many years did it take for the Snyder cut to be actually yeah, like recognized? Well, yo, that movie was five years ago, man, or four four or five years. Yeah, ago. Yeah, and they're still demanding for that that cut. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, you would stop it, like getting all your. You need to get all your your Star Wars guys. Yeah, like I, uh, you know, I mean, I would love a Slave Leia, but unfortunately, just because of Disney I now, I don't think we're not. We're just, definitely, just, we're definitely not getting it. Um, what else is there that uh, fucking sexist Slave Leia? Uh, <laughs> the Little Mermaid shows off more of her body. For oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, PJ. Since we've last spoken, I've become a male feminist, so I'm just a little touchy about things like that. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm sorry to offend you. <laughs> you, tri you triggered. You triggered. Oh, me. I'm sorry. Sorry if, I, sorry if I triggered you. Um, it's okay. But I mean, I'm trying to remember what else uh, that we haven't gotten. Um, that they're pretty much releasing. The prequels, some of the prequel stuff, you know, Django. Come on, man. Where the hell's my Django that's, figure? I gotta be honest. That's another reason why I'm not really feeling hot toys lately and their bullshit release schedules and all that. Like, yeah. I don't care about any of the prequel figures. I think they yeah. look good, but get the what are you doing? What honestly are you guys waiting for and doing? Like you, like I don't get why these figures are out for a year now, practically. And there are figures from from I understand, like um uh uh like them. I still don't really technically understand them not releasing like Cyborg, but I get it. The movie was kind of a flop. Well, but, it's 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 harder to to make that uh, that the figure itself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, how are you not making Padme? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh yeah, Padme. Padme? Yeah. How come Django Fett isn't up? What kind of bullshit stupidity is this? I don't. 
you know what I hate? I hate when they tease you on in like San Diego Comic Con, and you're it's getting like rave, like you know, it's being pra- like high praises, right? And people want that figure, and uh, they don't do anything with that. <laughs> they yeah, just like ridiculous. I don't get it. Either. I'm glad that Blitzway put up Bill and Ted for pre order because I was all over. That was my reveal of the con. I was all about that, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Here's a left out of left field thing that I know is actually going to fucking get made. Dude, you know who, who I want to uh, like, you know, what figure I want to be made by uh, three zero uh, evil dead. The by guy, Ash, Ash. Oh, Williams. Ash, yeah. Well, I mean, sideshow did him. I have him here. He was a good, it's good attempt. I, good I, attempt. I, yeah. But it's not, I, I know it's not hot toys quality. We know that. I mean, I mean, we, we get like another company like three zero. Cause I know three zero did like a uh, leather face. Right. Right. Yep. And, and then they did Jason before, right? I'm surprised. No, not, not Jason. Um, Mike Myers. I'm surprised that Blitzway hasn't taken a crack at that yet, because that's a pretty popular IP right now. I, yeah. here, here's another one. I want to. I want a Roddy Piper from They Live, uh, a Nada, an Alien. Uh, yeah. Hot toy release because I'm a big J. They Live, and They Live seems to be in the zeitgeist right now. I know Super Seven just released their little figures, and mm. uh, you know Mezco had. Um, Mezco had their thing that they showed, but they never kind of put out. And mm. there's that board game that's coming out by that guy, Andrew, that was on the show a few weeks ago. Like, oh, you know, so like there's like they live as kind of in like the the cult classic zeitgeisty type thing right now. Yeah. How about yo? Know, so uh how about the thing? John Carpenter. Yes, John that would be awesome. Yes. Dude, yeah. How about if we get some of that those figures? Yeah, right? that would be awesome. Uh I, I would I would appreciate a thing. Uh, Kurt Russell, a mm-hmm. uh, stuntman Mike. I would want, uh, mm-hmm. for, and like, like they're doing horror figures. Give me a freaking stuntman Mike. That's another Kurt Russell character that I really mm-hmm. like. Um, also, it, if the they f- if they release a Jar Jar Binks, like, oh, and it. if I haven't finished all my Star Wars like collection yet, by then, you better, better be. I, 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 I would, I would stop. I would stop. Like, even <laughs> if they release a Jar Jar Binks right now, I'm gonna stop collecting Hot Toys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unbelievable man yeah. uh it is this other characters that i could think of off the top of my head that i would want from like shit that i like you know i mean yeah like, it's you know uh i mean anything behind me i mean they already did the ghostbusters blitzway knocked that shit out of the park which was dope they did a back yeah. in the future that was you know done really well uh, let um, me tell you though like if i was like if i had the money to start like a one six scale like figure company yeah you know, i'll be grabbing some of these like like licenses like that really that was really popular back in the 80s i'll try to get rocky i'll get i'll try to get evil dead uh, i'll try to get the best of the best come on man <laughs> come on oh. man like some <laughs> of those figures i'm sur- since hot toys likes to redo figures i'm really surprised they haven't done rocky or uh because that leads to like a million variants or even like a first blood like a rambo first blood uh, oh dude yeah of course rambo like, first blood you know uh, obviously we still we got some like the ghostbusters uh you know uh, indiana jones and stuff like that but i would get like the lesser like popular like uh ips you know what i'm saying I'm top gun, I'll, I'll get like top gun die here's hard the, here's the issue with top gun uh, Tom Cruise wants mm-hmm. $500,000 for his likeness. That's why you never see Tom Cruise. Dude, stuff. do you know how popular Top Gun is? If you get his likeness <laughs> and you produce, I mean, you'll be selling that, that figure like hotcakes, man. You'd have to sell it for like $500. <laughs> that's crazy. $500,000 for a likeness. That's yeah. How, yeah, that's true. How much? How, damn. Yeah. I, I can't do math right now, but yeah it's crazy but i'm just saying like some of the stuff like you know a license uh, john mcclain would be nice yeah you know i know they did uh scarface i think it was the blitzway that did scarface yes yep that was one of the earlier figures that wasn't too bad they did fight club that was good yeah yeah I like stuff the- i like those kind of figures you know what i'm saying yeah, I too agree i like seeing just different me and bad talk about this all the time it's for sometimes when it feels like they're just doing the same shit over and over it feels like it can really expensive marvel legends as yeah. a, like show me something that like, and me and Kyle were talking about this earlier in the week. He was really pumped for the school of rock figure. Just maybe he's, yeah. a, but it's just something different to fill out a collection as opposed to just having another, this, another, this, another, you know? Yeah. Whatever. I mean, I would love like some st- steel Magnolias like figures. You oh, know what stop. Saying? Goonies or, is not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Goonies is not a bad idea. 
I want uh, the entire cast of the uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Right. Oh my god, I'm done with your bullshit, <laughs> guys. Go watch the Sith cast. <laughs> uh, uh, me and Baz, we back next week. I, we definitely went way longer, and I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna kill me when I go upstairs. We gotta get the kids to bed and stuff. Uh, like okay, okay. Work. But uh, PJ, uh, you'd love to have you on again next week. Yeah, yeah, Please. I'm free next week. So next next Friday, I'm I'm free pretty much all day. So that's my day off. So you've I'm, been I'm, uh, you've been inviting me on your show, but I've been having I also had to decline. Uh, Batman statue collector invited me on this week, and I had to tell him no too. I just I haven't been able yeah. to get it together. Yeah, uh, not showing whatever it is you're showing. We're gonna remove him from the stream. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, so <laughs> yeah, he's back. Um. So, any everybody, take care. Uh, listen, PJ, let these guys know what's up real quick before we go with the whole uh, social distancing shit, bro, and how important it is. Guys, they need to uh, hear because you're actually in I mean, hospitals. Uh, yeah. So, um, you know, I'm not an expert like some of these like uh, CDC guys or infectious disease doctors, but seriously, we we should really get back to some normalcy, man. This is crazy. So, we need all to come together. Just stay home. You know, spend some time with your family. Put put Rob's show on regular reviews on Fridays. You know, uh, I try to do some live streams also. I mean, just stay home. The the, the Sith more Cast is what you got to listen to when you're cleaning the house. Put that yeah, Sithcast. Boys and shit. Just stay home, man. Let's just get let's get together. You know, and uh, work together to like battle this thing, and we could go back to some sort of normalcy, man. Because this is this is insane. You know. Everybody that wants to kind of take it upon themselves to be like, I'm going to um, I'm going to go out and keep living my life and all that. Just remember that the longer you do that, the more you delay shit from going back to normal. The longer yeah. you your toys yeah. and your collectibles and comics and sports and wrestling and yeah, you know, being able to really just go and hang out at a birthday party or a wedding, you know, shit like that, christenings. All it's, that just stuff. Fucking, it's just freaky. It's freaky and weird when you go somewhere and you see everybody with masks and masks and gloves it just like it unnerves you you know i, tr I yeah. tried to go to the store today and i saw that and i was like this is too fucking stressful for me i fucking went home i was yeah. like you know what i'm just ordering shit now yeah um, i totally agree and uh yeah it's not the way to live so let's get back to normalcy man let's just work together as a as a country you know so yeah hopefully soon and uh yeah we could go back to you know, reviewing toys that we love because I haven't got a new hot toy in a long, long time, man. So, yeah, I can't wait for that day. I just, I just want, I want it to be crazy. You know, when I say crazy, I want traffic. I want people out in the streets. You know, cursing at me. You know, <laughs> my wife uh, had a good idea. She was like, you know, the country or the world really should. We should have like a world holiday where, like, two weeks or a week, a week or two weeks every year. The world should just shut down, reheal the environment, but like keep the economy going. Yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like keep the economy going for as much as you can and mm -hmm. just have everyone take a break from the craziness and then go back. It's like the ozone layer is like healed and shit. Like it's, it's, it's there are dolphins swimming in vents. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, there's, like, there's like people outside playing like baseball with their, you know, like dads playing baseball with their sons. You know, it's exactly. crazy. It's good so, stuff, you know, but at the same time, like we got to get back to normalcy, you know? Yep, totally agree, man. Totally agree. Yeah, be safe, every everybody. Be safe out there. You know, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Um, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and definitely six feet. Practice that uh, social distancing, man. And uh, you know, uh, give support to your healthcare workers out there, because you know what? Seriously, uh, they're really battling a war right now. So. Um, you know, do something nice for them. If you guys could buy them pizza while they're they're working or something, or just just some prayers and words of encouragement, in the man. Because right now it's really it's really hard. I like, yeah, I, I have. That's a totally a good idea. I didn't even think. Like Laura, wish you knew how to sew. Because she was like, I would sew some masks and bring them to the hospital. We have like a hospital not even a mile from us. Yeah, how to fucking sew, but. Yeah, just prayers too. Prayers out there for those, you know, for everybody, for those healthcare workers, first responders, cops, everyone in the front lines. You know, they need it. They need us uh, now more than ever. So. Yep. Yep. Totally. And listen, tip your fucking delivery guys too. I tipped my pizza delivery guy ten bucks today when he came to the house, just because. Uh -huh. like, fuck it. Like the guys still delivering pizza amongst all this little things like that. You don't even really realize. Yeah. So you don't got to do that, but just keep it in mind that like the dude is driving around handling multiple fucking things and having to deal with grabbing money. And, and, and shit. you know, and because a lot of people are out of work, you know, they don't have money to tip. Maybe uh, hand yep. jobs. 
<laughs> that too. <laughs> you got a you got a strong arm. Listen, we you all got five minutes. We, listen, we all play our part, man. You'd be surprised. But like, and we were talking about actors and actresses reading books to kids. You got, you know, listen. Uh, you know, there are cam girls out there that you know. There, there you go. You got Pornhub is now has the stay at home stuff. So you got that too. All right. So yeah. anyone, everyone, and everyone, take care. I love porn. Change your underwear. Wash, brush your hair. And, and we'll wash see. your feet. And wash your feet. Wash your hand. Goddamn hands, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. Be safe.